Oh my god, today I saw... <laughs> guess what I'm gonna talk about. Today, <laughs> you, you will never guess where this is going. Maybe you can, because you know, you've heard my streams before, but... Um... I was... <laughs> I went to Trader Joe's today. Audience goes wild. <laughs> woo! Trader Joe's, woo! Fans love the Trader Joe's talks. Um... I, I went to Trader Joe's today, and in the parking lot. <laughs> no effing way. Uh, excitingly, I did get the uh, chicken tikka masala. We will be trying that during the squint cast tomorrow, for people who haven't heard. And uh, we will, I, I will be. Um, and that, that'll be a fun little mukbang, but in the parking lot. Should I, I guess I can show the picture. I. It's not doxing too much, I guess, because I did block the... I, I pixelated the image. Oh, but is this a... Am I allowed to show this on stream? Because, like, it's like showing um, a vibrator, in quotes, from Amazon. Are you allowed to show that on stream? I Probably not. I'll just describe it then. I took a picture of a, a, a truck that had the hugest, pinkest truck nuts I've ever seen. They were just hanging off the, the, uh, the trailer hitch. It was amazing. I'm so glad I get to talk about this over the triumphant Fallout music. But yes, there are two huge swinging truck nuts, just beautifully dangling off of it. In my trader, in my Trader Joe's parking lot of all places. Okay, we're here. Oh, I remember. So, yay, Fallout stream. Oh, I get to start. I get to start the. Uh, <laughs> that sucks. The <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> this Fallout, this Fallout Part Two uh, video that I'm gonna have to, that I'm gonna cut together. Um, it's gonna start off with the truck nuts talk. God damn it! <laughs> oh yeah, I'm really over encumbered almost. I need to go to town. I'm gonna go to town on this town. YouTube wouldn't like you sharing a pet pig. Probably not. No. 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 I was very surprised. I was like, wow, that's uh, bold. <laughs> wow, those look old. The thing I want, uh, so the way where we ended last stream, that talking about um, the last part reminded me that this will be an upload later. I've been doing that lately. I've been uploading these onto YT, so check it out if you don't catch the VODs. So thirsty. Hi there. Oh, thank God. Hi, Mickey. Someone new. I need water, please. Water. 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 Uh, let's talk your let's do your dialogues first, and then I'll hand over the water. It's Megaton. Have you been living in a hole or something? <laughs> Everyone's heard of Megaton. They have plenty of water in, in there, of but sense. they only give it to residents or people who can pay for it. I've kind of been living in a hole, but it'd be rude to call her that. I've been drinking this irradiated <laughs> shit. Awful. I can't do it. I just throw it up now. I need purified water, please. I would love to get truck nuts, Scruffy. But... <laughs> By the way, these truck nuts, they were like... They were uh, locked on to the hitch. They, they had a little lock on there just in case someone was going to steal them for their nutless truck. So those things are secure and fat. Um... God, I'm going to keep forgetting. Like, the thing I wanted to talk about from the last stream was one of the first times I played this game. We're going to just keep staring at Mickey for a minute here. Uh, apparently, I didn't, um, I didn't remember it correctly. So, you've been waiting this whole time for a story that wasn't real. No, um, <laughs> oh, fuck, I need to do this. Okay, I'll, I'm going to tell the, <laughs> the where I played Fallout New Vegas for the first time story later while I'm, like, shooting shit, okay? We're saving it for then. Sorry to tease you, but here, have some purified water. Are you, are you serious? I, I can't offer anything in exchange, you know. I, I can just have I can just have it? For free? Thank you, this voice actor you're giving it. You're all. I insist. I insist, my friend. It's a, the least I can do to help. My... Thank you. Thank you so much. You've saved my life. Bless you. Wow. I feel so special. I feel so, uh... I feel like my karma has gone up. 
that I can help out. Megaton, it says it there up on the corner. God, the color grading looks so different on this other monitor that I'm using. By the way, other Deputy Weld. Deputy Weld. I know there's a hollowed out rock over there. Uh, it's like over there. I think there's a sniper rifle inside of it. Go there in a minute, uh, later on. In a minute. Again, I advertise in my mission statement slash description for this channel. I stream video games and it's a stream of consciousness, so expect me to side get sidetracked all the time. Or a megaton. A newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too when the need arises. Oh, that I don't voice. know why, but I like I love you, it. boy. Something <laughs> tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need some. Holler. There's an apple farm I used to go to when I was younger uh, on the Wisconsin border called Apple Holler. It's really fun, and they have like a, a pastry shop there and a nice restaurant that makes a bunch of apple stuff. I highly recommend it. Apple Holler near Wisconsin border. <laughs> the, um, the, the Illinois Wisconsin border, might I add. Nice town you got here, Sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Friendly and well-mannered. Oh. I think we're going to get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Uh, let's say nothing. God, I hope you ain't one of those psychotic quiet Okay, <laughs> they gave me two so, options to say is there nothing. anything else I can do for you? I'm sure I would have said that, like, twice if I pressed that twice. I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him? Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. I gotta roleplay these options more. Okay. My motivation is that I'm a 19-year-old boy. Just got out of the vault. This, I'm in this dirty wasteland. Um, After living in my my like cushy uh, concrete walled vault uh and i'm i really just i just want to find my dad like like you know he he's out there and i'm out here and you know you know <laughs> i love using you know <laughs> it just it just leaves all the heavy lifting to it's a thing you already know and that's it it's yeah I could use some directions around town, sure. Sure thing, partner. What do you need to find? That wasn't roleplay. Uh, w where's the closest clinic? Our clinic is down in the crater, by That's the better. bomb. Doc Church is a little rough around the edges, but the man's got talent and compassion. Is there a weapon dealer around here? <laughs> You'll probably want to see Moira at Craterside Supply. What are you laughing at? <laughs> she sells some weapons. Make some, too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. Referring to myself, like, can't getting through, I can't get through a single line without laughing. Uh, is, is there a bar in town? Sure is. Moriorities. The entrance Moriorties. is on the top level, opposite the main gate. Cool. Just be careful. Moriarty is not your friend, no matter what he may say. <laughs> so don't fall for his lies. And for God's sake... Don't trust the man. I like how the first thing I, I want out of the vault is, where's your bar? It's a lot of weird things to ask after being thrown into this world. Uh, I need some equipment. Where is the nearest general store? Moira sells all kinds of stuff at her place. There's Moira Crater and Moriarty's. Supply. Take a guess where it Two is. Two different places. Okay. <laughs> Crater side supply. I wonder where. Or can I rent a bed? Up at Moriarty's at the south end of town. Ooh. Talk to Nova. She'll help you out. She'll correct you. Sure thing. What's on your mind? I ate a bunch of delicious rice cracker snacks before getting on. And <laughs> the carbonated beverage is reminding me of that. Uh, let's discuss this bomb. There's a big bomb back there. Right, right back there. Can you see it? What about it? Okay, this roleplay thing, I'm dropping it instantly, like me during D&D. &D. I, 
I can only roleplay as myself, which isn't roleplay. It sucks, I know, but... I need to- I need to be able to, like, stay in a character, and I can't. I just can't. <laughs> I, I don't know, it's me. It's something about, uh... It's something about me, probably. I don't know. I mean, I can commit to a lot- a, a bit, sure. But... Uh, not when it's, like... I I can only do it when it's like my free will, I guess. But then that's what D and D is. So I'm just I'm just not good at it. I did take acting class and acting class in high school though, and I got to do all the weird things. I got to read the little blue book about Stanislav Stanislavski's a method, the method acting. I got to uh, <laughs> I got bullied and what? Oh my god, I forgot about this. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> oh my god, I just remembered. <laughs> How have I never mentioned this to people before? Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um So <laughs> one of the for one of the classes, our acting teacher, like, I'm not joking, literally like like, the assignment was to bully other students. I'm not joking. The, the assignment was to, like, roleplay, like, being mean to someone. I'm not joking, yeah. So, so, one of the students in the class, like, fucking grilled me, and the teacher was, like, egging them on to do it. Because, like, for, it was, like, me supposed to, like, act like it's not phasing me, but the teacher was, like, encouraging them to, like, say mean things to me, so... So I don't get it. Like what? Bro. <laughs> I'm not joking. I I'm not going to dox this teacher of course, but that is like so inappropriate. I, I I must have suppressed it or something. I can't believe I haven't talked about this like before, but it is so wild. I, I like I used to stream a lot and I'm just shocked that I haven't brought this up. I don't even recall bringing this up before. It has to have been just a suppressed memory. Oh my god. But the, the teacher was... <laughs> like, I don't even remember if the teacher, like, told any other students to do it to any other students. I I guess he was more effective. Like, it scarred me the most, maybe, because, like, I was... I'm, I'm not the not the healthiest looking person, I guess. Or maybe I'm too healthy looking, if you catch my drift. But, like... <laughs> like, like, the student was, like, they're a very nice person, and... Long story short, like, we got much closer over time, and we're, we're like, you know, we, we left uh, high school on good terms, and that never, like, bugged me, the thing they had to do. It was just, of course, I understand that was the teacher's fault for egging them on to do that, but I'm pretty sure, like, <laughs> this other student made fun of my weight and my height, specifically. Maybe they, they said something goofy about my glasses, or that I wore glasses at the time, and <laughs> it's just... Uh... <laughs> okay that sorry sorry lucas sims I, I didn't mean to tell you my whole life story there um do i think someone should disarm the bomb i don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it besides most people don't even realize it's still a threat she was and hell cromwell and those crazies from the oh, church no. of adam they worship the damn thing hopefully that doesn't Why? turn into a big thing in you the next game you got the know-how to disarm it the church Good. of adam in fallout 4 i feel like that's a thing that gets more fleshed out even though it's like a thing in this town and seemingly only in this town but i guess we'll talk to him and hear about his religion uh i can see about disarming that bomb for you oh all right fine but listen here just take a look at it first. <laughs> go easy if you get the job done 100 caps 100 caps in it for you that's enough for lunch oh If I say let's talk about something else, I think I can come back and try this check. But whatever, fuck it. Let's let's not like save scum checks like this. And you got tons of money later on. Uh, I'll I'll try seeing a one and fifth chance if we get it. Fuck. Not an option, I'm afraid. We aren't exactly. I was gonna ask for 500 caps down here. I'd really read it out. <laughs> I don't need a reward. I couldn't sleep at night knowing uh, you could all die. Yeah, let's be the bigger man. Can't imagine a teacher using that method <laughs> in a class today. 
Like, it wasn't too long ago. It doesn't... How long ago was it? Um... No, that would have been 10 years ago. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I guess that was a while ago. <laughs> I would have thought 10 years ago we were beyond stuff like that. But yeah, I, I felt weird after that class. I like, like I didn't, I don't think I felt like any respect for that teacher anymore. After that class, uh, like <laughs> I, I was, I don't, I don't think I was like self-aware, like looking at it through a third person's perspective back then. Um, but but I could tell it wasn't right, you know? I, I could tell, like, okay, this is what the teacher's gonna do, and now this class is less important to me in my life. Like, <laughs> so maybe that's where it started. Maybe that's why I can't get into character, because of the suppressed uh, bullying. But that's not a thing I think about when I, like, try to roleplay, so I don't know. It's probably something psychologically there, though. Uh, yeah, I'll be the bigger person, because 100 caps is like nothing. Hopefully this will give me better karma. Well, that's mighty decent of you. Just don't, you know, <laughs> go blowing us up. Yeah. Now that I'm helping you, maybe you can help me. I'm looking for my dad. Well, come to think Ooh. of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. A man some has needs. up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. <laughs> Anything about the area outside of Megaton? It's called the Wasteland for outside a Megaton. reason. But there are settlements, too, spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south, you've got Rivet City. But don't bother south going to down. D.C. The place is a war zone. Ooh. Map marked. Tell me more about your town. What do you want to know? To have a doctor? Yep, he's a bit cranky, but he means well. Just make sure there's something actually wrong with you before you bother him. You'll find him down in I the love plaza this guy's voice. at the bottom of the hill. I know I mentioned it before, but brass lantern. hearing him talk is just very entertaining to me. I'm a, it's, a, I, I, it's really nice when you enjoy all the things that an NPC can say. Uh, know where I can get a drink? Oh my god. Disco Elysium is a great example. Like, anything in that game, it's like, oh, please. Please describe everything. I, I want to sit back and listen to you talk. <laughs> sure. Head over to Moriarty's for spirits. Or, if you want something to eat, head over to the Brass Lantern. Brass Lantern. It's a cute right. name. Oh yeah. The type you want to read? Bedtime stories. Mind your manners now. Yay. Oh, I remember, I remember. I remember now. I wanted to. Uh, FOV ninety. I think that's yeah. I noticed things looked really close, but oh, hi. Things looked really close up. So. Okay. That's much better. A lot of junk I need to sell off. Also, I want to want to get a, like a dom a domicile if I can. Hello, who? Where? Oh, you. Hi. You looking to trade, stranger? Check out Crater Side Supply. Aw, a cow. Two-headed cow. It's a Brahmin. If you need to buy something, Moira. Oh, you know a sad thing you can do in this game. Watch out, though. She's. Where? What? Okay. What is it? When you? I'll save it. Different. If I, I'll do this just to show everyone. I think if you hold, if you walk up to a Brahmin, you can uh, sneak next to it. And if you press uh, the attack button, it'll. Nope, that's wrong. Okay. <laughs> I never want to hurt the Brahmin. I'm sorry that I hurt you. I thought you can tip Brahmin in this game. I think you need to. Wait. Is it E? It is E. Yeah, if you press E, you can sadly tip a Brahmin over. Did I call it a ramen earlier? <laughs> it's just a goofy thing, so... It's ragdolls for a minute, but they're okay. I'm sorry to tip you, though. It is rude. This game has a few, uh... God, I keep... Fuck. 
Is it... Keep pressing... Keep pressing something that activates the slow mode. Why is it slow? Uh, how do I... Is it alt? No. It's not... Control. Pressing the... It's not, I'm not over encumbered, am I? Oh, I am! I was being silly. Well, that stuff weared off. What? Oh, okay, now it's because the cap locks was on. <laughs> I was over encumbered because my alcohol went up, weared off. That gave me a strength bonus. I'm gonna go to crater side supplies and, as I continue to say, sell off my junk. They did allow that for all characters. It's so goofy. I'd, I would like that mod. Mods are something I could add to this game, but the base game is pretty good on its own. I'm just not familiar with adding mods to these type of games, so I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be the best at it, to be fair. Oh. Can't lockpick that yet. I wouldn't take stuff from it. I don't want to be rude, but I don't trust strangers. I'll trust the, the obvious police officer. I don't, I don't know what's going on with him. Bill well, Creel. Hot damn. Billy Creel. New. Always a pleasure. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take Aww. me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the life story. And narrow. <laughs> oh, these Bethesda NPCs and their life stories, and <laughs> when you first talk to them. Um, so embarrassing, and I hate that I do this, because it's so... It's like a relic of my past st streaming habits, where I used to only play Fall Guys, but... I, uh... How long have we been playing this? For, like, I guess the last... I'm going to be generous and say, like, 45 minutes to an hour. My, my video game controller, my PS4 controller, <laughs> has been on my thigh this whole time. Because I, as, you know what they say about people who cross their legs. But I, I sit in my, ch my gamer chair with my legs crossed most of the time, like, all pretzeled up. Because for some reason that's comfortable to me, I wonder why. Um, and... I just rest my controller smack dab on my thigh this whole time. <laughs> so I've been doing this like balancing act while pretzeled. And I wasn't even I wasn't even thinking about it consciously. I'm sorry, who's Maggie? Oh, sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself. <laughs> right? Nag Maggie's not Maggie's the sweetest mine. little girl you'd ever care to meet. We I take care of each other. I mix these two I letters ain't never together. I had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. Oh, God. That was two Capital years R ago. raiders? It was a pretty bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some No raiders is a proper noun. The old place had been oh, I guess it's a, it is a sports team. I found Maggie hiding under a bed in the same room where her parents had been butchered. We've been together ever since. Oh, my God. Sarah, wait. I need to hear that last part again, but... <laughs> relatable, I do. I need a chair to do yoga poses in oh, as well. It was a pretty bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage, and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed in the same room where her... Okay, that's still ter terrible, but I thought he was saying they, like, they settled down in the house that was <laughs> the same house where her parents got massacred. Know anything about area outside Megaton? Jeez, there's a lot of, like, like Elder Scrolls, uh, Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. There's a lot of oblivion, like, <laughs> what can you tell me about this area? Then the area outside of it, <laughs> like, just all this stuff that's, like, general questioning. But I'm glad it's in their own voice, it's it's nice. Of NPCs that talk to me. And also, hi, Aether. Ethereum. <laughs> bing bong, bingo mango. Uh, know anything about the area outside Megaton? All I know is that I spent too much time out there, and beyond that, I ain't gonna talk about it. I ain't talking about it. Can't... Get it out of me. Uh, what can you tell me about Megaton? Megaton is the best little town you'll find in the Capital Wasteland. Don't let anyone tell you different. Strong walls, strong people, and strong booze. Harder, better, you need faster, to make stronger. A life these days. What do you do around here? Me? 
I deal with the caravan suppliers. I used to ride with those guys. State your so purpose. They cut me some good deals. Helps keep the town supplied. But more importantly, I take care of Maggie. Of course, she's getting I a little loved. old to have Billy looking over her shoulder all the time. Billy? Oh, yeah, him. Duh. I, that's a joke from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Uh, <laughs> whether it's a swap meet or a, or a, a flea market, whatever they called it. Um, and like, I guess the security guard or whatever at the gate <laughs> asks someone to, asks them all like to state their purpose. And like, for some reason, all the characters are saying what, like in life, <laughs> like I always found that really funny. Oh, oh, Gendy Tartakovsky, you in your clever joke. That was Lauren Faust. I think, I think, uh, Gendy though worked on Foster's, right? Uh, what's the word in town? Uh, what's the word around town? People have been saying that there's something wrong with the water purifier. But old Walter's been keeping that thing running for decades. Ooh. And I'm not worried. No reason it'd pick now to go down for good. Would it? Make a good point. Why fix it when it's broke? People have been saying that there's... Oh, okay, he didn't have anything else to say. Later, Gator. Woo. I liked him. I like him. Oh boy, get ready for a lot of dialogue, but also... Hello. Oh, sorry. Poor Mora. The things you, that'll happen to her if you don't act dis disarm that bomb. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. You all better put some respect you. on Moira Brown's I'm name. Moira Brown. She makes I the Wasteland Crater Survival Supply. Guide. God damn it. What I really do is mostly tinkering and research. That appears in Fault New Say, Vegas. I'm working on a book about the Wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Coming on kind of forward there, but... I'm curious to know where she got that suit from. Also, hold on. Sorry, everyone. I want to... I want to just check how loud her volume was compared to mine, just to know if I need to, like, remove the gain filter that I added to the stream. Get ready for some feedback for a minute. Really do is mostly tinkering and research. That appears in Fault New Vegas. Hey, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. Yeah, I feel like I can, I can reduce the gain by just <laughs> another decibel. It'll only be a one decibel gain, though, which is kind of goofy. Well, let's do it. I've all tabbed out. Things are happening. It's really silly to have a one decibel gain, but... <sighs> I'm kind of a silly little raccoon, man. Uh, where'd you get the suit? I'm pretty sure I remember a girl coming into town with that about 10, 12 years ago. Hmm. She didn't know a thing about the wastes. And I knew she'd get herself hurt without some sort of protection. So I offered to armor her vault suit. <laughs> Never saw Reminds her you of the again. name I thought of earlier. Probably died out there, poor Dental thing. Dental dam. <laughs> In a way, she gave me the idea to write this book. It's yours if you help. When I was picking names the other day, one of the names I thought of was Dental Dam because my, my brain has no filter. Great. <gasps> Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. I said I'd help her with her guide. Um, <laughs> I was sent as an ambassador from the Utopia Vault 101. Bow before my glory. I'm sure people would bow before my glory. Uh, <laughs> this is this is fun. How do people live out there? out here i haven't found a food dispenser anywhere well it takes a little more work than that to get food and good water's even harder <laughs> but you'll figure that out soon enough or not here take the armored suit oh it won't help feed you Aww. but it should keep you from being food for anything else or anyone else <laughs> no no that'll be good for the book I, in, in fact want to help me with the research <gasps> i can pay you and it'll be fun money and fun I mean, what kind of business are we getting into here? I mean, <laughs> what kind of 
what kind of thing can offer both money and fun. I don't know. Pay? What sort of pay? Uh, and what sort of work? Let's see. Dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and, I won't lie, it may include some reading. No! That sort of stuff, you know? But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? Yes. Tell me more. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? <gasps> People could She's say use it. a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. Oh, uh, For that, bug. I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me. <laughs> mean, mean words. Aw, oh, those pog faces are cute. Um, I, what, is that like normal geometry? The corners of her mouth have this like pinch thing going on. And I, I don't think I, I recall that on my fuzzy family CRT back in 2010. The first time. Okay. We'll talk about it now just so I can get out of the way. Um, <laughs> It's just a really cute memory when I was like young and like still in grade school. I remember me and a, a few friends like bike riding around and like for for a summer or two. And uh, excuse me. It was really fun. Hang out with friends and getting to bike ride around with them. There is this uh, this place that opened up close to us. I, I thought it was called like uh, like game cave. I think it was called game cave or something. I tried looking it up. I tried doing the, the Google Maps thing where I learned this from a Quentin Reviews video <laughs> about Victorious. Um, but you can, like, find the past maps and, like, photos of what a, what the area used to look like. I I didn't... I, I, forgot to, I forgot to look into how to do, like, the satellite view where it's different from past years. But I, I did, like, the street view and I couldn't find it, like, at that location. But the place was, uh, me and my friends bike, bike, bike road to this place near us that was like, it, it, <laughs> it was, I had no idea how this, this guy thought this business would work out, but he had like, I think they were all like CRTs, maybe, maybe there was a flat screen. He had this building that he, the storefront that he rented out where he had like maybe six consoles, six like Xboxes and Xbox 360s and PS3s and connected to connected to these six uh, monitors. And he'd be like, it, it was so casual. It was like him and his friends doing this where he was like, yeah, hey, so do you <laughs> do you kids want to like <laughs> play games? <laughs> I, I know that sounds horrible in retrospect, but you could like walk in and for like an hour or so, I think it was 30 minutes we bought. <laughs> it was probably like six bucks or something. Last sixes. Um, you'd be able to like just <laughs> pick pick a game from his game collection. You could, you could look through all the CDs and like a binder, I think. Uh, and you could like <laughs> just sit there and like play video games as if there was like a uh, it was like a video game arcade or ca uh, cafe. There's no food though, but yeah, you could you could just like <laughs> pay and. Uh, Pay and it was it this isn't that, that interesting of a story, is it? I just had a lot of fun as a kid doing this because we did it once and we always wanted to go back and so soon after we we tried going back and it was already shut down, which sucks. <laughs> but, but in retrospect, I mean I, I don't know how much business you would get besides from like like roving packs of teenagers, tweens that were like on their bike that summer ready to like play some games but I, I distinctly remember the game that i chose was fallout new vegas because i'm pretty sure before that i don't even recall if this is the order um but yeah i think i think so i think i had played fallout 3 already so i wanted to see what fallout new vegas was like and i wasn't even like paying attention to the fallout series then i was just like oh i've played this game before and it's this is like a, a new franchise right like so I popped in their copy of Fallout New Vegas, and all I did was, like, I booted into the game, I, like, quickly went through character creation, because that took up, like, probably uh, the intro cutscene, you have to, like, wait through, and, like, you know, cl clicked all, all these options, you can kind of spam through it, but they're still waiting, you have to do, because you need to get your Pip-Boy and stuff, 
uh, I feel like more than half of my time was spent just like doing the tutorial house where I just got all my information and my gear and then <laughs> and then like the other like one third of the time I'm getting my percentages mixed up um I just like went around good springs and like was <laughs> just like beating people up with like DLC armor or whatever and like whatever like bludgeoning weapons I could find and back then it was just like oh wow that's awesome that's cool it, like you know this is what video games are like whatever but but now it's like oh my god <laughs> Fault New Vegas and this game and I guess Skyrim to an extent were all so advanced for just like you could just like literally do that you can like load into a game and just like start being the shit out of like any NPC you wanted to which is like something you totally take for granted now I think or at least I do because that's not like a thing you can do in most games and, and these games were like games that did that and so it was so cool that back then I was able to just like like have the perfect experience in that like in that game cave or whatever <laughs> where I just like went in and I, I paid the like you know the, the 30 minutes or whatever and I got to like do what I wanted which was cool <laughs> like I, I couldn't have chose a better game to do what I wanted in I feel like any other game it would have been like okay yeah I mean I know I still had to do the tutorial thing which kind of sucked but past that you're just like in the game doing shit I feel like a lot of the time you kind of meander and like if, if like an NPC is like talking to you, you can't really like punch them or anything or else you'll restart your Red Dead Redemption 2 mission or whatever. But yeah, that's I guess that's a little side tangent I went on there <sighs> outside of the game cave. Where I just this is neat game design that you don't see in many places anymore. <sighs> so gassy, so full of burps. Um, oh God, what, uh, yes, I'll, I'll do it. I'll help. Good enthusiasm. Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food. Yeah, it was neat. The dangers of radiation. Think so too, Scruffy. And how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Hmm... Let's do the radiation one, because I, I know how, where all these take place. Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, You'll never anyway. guess where we get the radiation so from. I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning, so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Uh, you want me to get irradiated? How could I possibly worth it? <laughs> That possibly be worth it for me. Oh, don't worry so much about it. I'll be here waiting with a nice tall glass of rad cleansing Brahmin milk for you when you get Aww. back. How sweet. Well, mostly just a whole lot of rad X and rad away. Okay. And maybe even a more reliable way to get rid of radiation. <gasps> Assuming it Ooh. works, of course. Sounds good. I'll I'll mix up my DNA for you. Uh okay, I'll get irradiated. Just be ready to fix me up when I get back. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. <laughs> now, 200 rads should be enough for basic That's sickness. Rad. But if you can get 600 or more rads, <gasps> my test will be even more accurate. You got it, Moira. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Very goofy. I see, I see. It was more legit your setup, but you went somewhere similar. Just went there for a, a cousin's birthday and never been there again. I see. <laughs> that sounds. Why does, why does what I describe what we're what we're both thinking of sounds so much like the cousin's birthday location? That that is so like, 2010's cousin's birthday. I completely agree. That that makes perfect sense. The why their birthday was there. Wow. <laughs> the one place you the place you go once because. I, I've had other birthdays that were at weird places, like uh, like that 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 were um not that I had them that I went to uh, birthdays that were at like places that I've only been inside of once and will never be there again because that's kind of what birthdays are like. I guess those businesses run on run on that model essentially, where <laughs> this is a place that people will see once, so you can probably like get away with like things being shoddy because no one's gonna like notice the patterns if <laughs> if you just go there once. And if enough kids go there once, you got yourself a business. Uh, 
They've thought about disarming that bomb. Oh, I couldn't do that. It'd be a real blow to those nice folks in the church. Fair enough. Besides, it's not like that bomb ever hurt anyone. Live and let live, right? <laughs> Glad you agree, Scruffy. Can I ask you about your work and how my research fits into it? Sure thing. I'm an open book. What do you want to know? Oh, why are you card? Why can't you re do this research yourself? Oh, I haven't got nearly the experience in the waste that you do. Mm. If I tried half of these things, I'd get my head blown off. <laughs> experience. At least you look like you can really handle yourself out there. Okay. All I'm good at is coming up with the ideas and fiddling with junk for caravans. Little do you know, I'm great at fiddling. <laughs> Fiddling Benny Hills for some reason. <laughs> um, it's really good of you to try to help people like this. I know, right? I swear I'm not I dyslexic. Instead of just helping out the J -J -K, I, I so job, am. Why not put my brilliant mind to work for everyone? And between my mind and your experience, this guide will save a dozen times more lives than those greedy merchants will. Hmm. Well, I'm proud to be a part of it. You can count on me. That's the spirit, trusty research assistant. <laughs> Did you beat the devil when he came down to Georgia? I love... I love that uh, references to that song. He sure does have a golden fiddle in that song, too. Do you sell any specialty items? <gasps> Do Ooh. I ever. I've got the schematics for something called... I forgot about schematics in this game. Launcher. I sell all the components, too, mm. so you can make the weapon yourself. This weapon is so weird. Don't worry about ammo. This baby shoots all the junk you Fallout might find out there in the Fallout 3 was very creative with these schematics. Land. Ashtrays, teddy bears, you name it. <laughs> in fact, if you ever need to make any custom weapons, feel free to use my workbench. Oh, shit. in the shop. All you need is the schematics and parts. Thanks. So we have for sale. I have zero caps. Wow. So, so. Oh, I think you don't sell things that you currently have equipped. You can't see them in this menu, so. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, Why do you use these to repair the other ones? But I won't use these forever. I don't know. Come back to that stuff. Cell jet. Sure. Sell the alcohol, even though it's kind of useful. Okay, yeah, I have a lot of junk I need to sell. Like actual junk. Oh. Okay, well, that's good. We've lit, hit the... Our money limit, so... We'll be able to sell stuff and... Andesite. The mineral from Minecraft. Be able to sell stuff and buy stuff. <laughs> wow. Missile launcher, casual. Ooh, brass knucks. <laughs> I read ch cheeseburger for a second when it said chessboard. Um, just got that schematic, okay. Sure, I'll buy leather armor, buy another one. Those will be useful later. Oh, but I'll be over encumbered probably, fuck. I'll buy one stim pack, one stimpy. Good hunting. Oh, yeah, sure. You Can you repair my caps. equipment? It's a good way to get caps. Use these caps. Uh, but there's nothing here I want to repair. So, never mind. What's the word around town? I couldn't tell you, really. I talked to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Manya? Come on, ya. Try not to die. Am I over encumbered? Yes. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, but just barely. Can I repair you with you? Sure. I'll just start repairing a bunch of these, even though it won't give me the most efficient. Rep 
repair bonus. Ding, ding, ding. I guess I can sell half of these vault armors, sure. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter. <laughs> <laughs> what a card. Not really comfortable with getting irradiated. You realize how ridiculous this request is, right? I realize a lot of things, but this isn't one of them. A lot of things. It's a real scientific necessity and 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 not ridiculous at all. <laughs> What I mean is, My logic. I need this research, and you're probably going to get irradiated out there anyway. So, why not come back here and help me too? Fair enough. What do you... Yeah, I'll sell half of them. So much weight. Each one's 15. Damn. 15 LBs? In my chat? Uh, I think I'll just keep investing in stim packs or maybe ammo. Ammo's nice. Cool. Anything else I don't need? Uh, don't know if I can wear eyewear with, like, stuff. This one's fully good. I think I'll sell... They only weigh one, though. I think I'll sell one of each of these again. Okay. Just really want a box Good where I can hunting. store all my junk that I want to keep for some reason. For no reason. Just love junk in my trunk. Oh, I unequipped my weapon. That's why I didn't see it before. Whoa, I'm fast. New. That increased field of view for you. I like. I know, I know I'm in the direct light, but can I? No. Okay, I'll be detected. I want hacker terminal. For the experience. For the thrill of it. There's music that could be playing right now, but I'm not for now. We get to hear the the ambience of <laughs> wind rustling. Oh yeah, I want to. Okay, I think it's. <sighs> I mentioned it at the beginning of the stream. I wanted to fix the the issue with my username, Styrofoam Raccoon, not being Styrofoam. Do I still have that search open? I don't. I have a search for styrofoam still open. Uh, just said how to set name in Fallout 3. Set actor full name and then the name. Got it. So... St <laughs> Sty Styofoam Raccoon. Okay. Set. Extra. So I don't know if it has to be in quotes, but I'm gonna... It looks like it, it's in quotes in this uh, search result. Try that. Fuck. What? Hello there. Microplastic raccoon in your water? More likely than you think. It's true. Set actor, full name. Oh, they didn't even... Fuck you, they didn't do... This first result, it sucks. They didn't even add this part. Player dot. Okay. It, 
It's set actor full and then name. Change your name, character's name. Let's see if this works. Set actor full. Uh. Styrofoam raccoon. Let's see if that works. Fuck. Could I parse this line? I'm putting quotes. Fucking. Game facts help. Oh. Oh. Let's try this. Compiled script not saved. <laughs> Is it because I'm on this screen, maybe? Um. Let's try this again. sucks set actor full name use the quotes if the name has spaces okay sets the name of the selected NPC use player dot that hmm This is harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> the microplastics are essential to the food pyramid. Oh, maybe... This is Fallout 4, damn it. This other one I picked. Selected. PSA, change your name. Sorry for this ambient moment in the stream. <laughs> On Daily Motion tutorial, how to change your name. Fallout 3, how old is this video? Okay, I'm getting a commercial for Chase Business. What motivated us? Chase for Business was by our side to build along with us. From banking to payment acceptance. To Chase is getting a free ad. All in one place. Thank you, Chase. Daily Motion, stay classy. I found how old this video is. Eight years ago. Sounds good. Sounds legit. It's FOD3 tutorial in all capitals. How to change your name! Exclamation mark. <clears throat> it was a nice crunch to my we water. Chase again? No! No! <laughs> Chase! <laughs> it, it's the same ad twice, and it didn't even indicate that there'd be two ads. How many times is this gonna play in a row? Is this the video? Is this the video? It's just a way to fish all these ads. <laughs> I just want him to be named Styrofoam Raccoon. Cannot escape. Uh oh. Oh. Their intro is playing. This minute's a. This video is a minute and seventeen seconds long. It's already fourteen seconds in, and their their cinematic intro for Hunt Hunt One Two Seven isn't even over. Hunt Hunt One Two Seven, eight years ago. Reconsider. This isn't even in English. Okay, maybe he types it in. He looks very swag. He's walking around. Please, give me the tutorial. Please, your video's almost over. Please. Uh-huh. Open the command console with slash. That's not true. Show name menu. Oh my god. Thank God. <laughs> okay, Hunter, you're you're not that bad after all. Oh, did it Okay, well. 
Maybe my name's too long. Yeah, it is too long. Maybe that's why I couldn't parse it. Oh. Scam. You will be chased. Cannot escape. Jesus. Okay, well, I'll just... I'll do, like, a RuneScape username. Where it's no, no space, but it's two things. Okay. Yes! We're back, baby. Styrofoam raccoon time. Is this directing me toward Moriarty? It is. It's because yeah, the, the, <laughs> the main quest. Let me uh, get irradiated. So I know the, the classic way people do it, but I want to just see how many rads uh, the bomb will give me if I, if I drink the water there. Oh, 18 rads. That's perfect. Well, okay, that's perfect. It makes sense, but... The trash is back. Yay. Uh, that's that's a good way to do it, but as the classier way. I have to run all the way back to where I was. Shit. Ah, there it is. The latrine. Take a sip. Oh, hey, Andy. You want to take a sip? <laughs> I, I need you for a sec. I need, some, I need your radiation tap. Hmm? Oh. I'm afraid I'm quite busy right now. If it's food you're after, talk to Jenny or Leo. Otherwise, I can't help you. Thank goodness Andy doesn't have any other story or quest, and he's just here to hang out. <laughs> Finally, some <laughs> good fucking drink. <laughs> I could use some directions around town. Do you know anything about Mega... Out fucking outside of Megaton. What can you tell me about Megaton? What's the word around town? Moriarty pisses in his still. <laughs> Crazy bastard thinks it's hilarious. I mean, it is. Besides, you'll get your throat cut in that pit. The fuck? You're much better off here. Hey, here what? Maybe I'll put that on the sign out front. The brass lantern. Oh. Cleaner, safer, and less likely to have piss in the drinks. <laughs> okay, it's not expected to talk to him here, I guess. The brass lantern is like near the bomb. It's a it's a restaurant down there. What can you tell me about Megaton? It's a hole. A dead end. So why do I stay? Well, it's a hole that makes me money. God damn. A lot of hole talk in this episode. <laughs> this episode. Uh, know anything about the area outside of Megaton? Outside of Megaton? Any place other than here sounds like heaven to me. Fuck this place. If it weren't <laughs> a few wasteland types coming through with your caps, Scruffy knows what he wants. Second, assuming that I could convince Jenny and Leo. He angry and cute. He is. And he likes drugs. So there's a lot to like about Andy. Good point, Riku. I can do some directions around town. You know, you're right. I guess <laughs> I do look like a signpost. Where do you want to go? The sign does have signpost. The sign. The town does have signposts. It's a bar in town. Are you joking? Yes, there's a bar. The brass. Oh, lamp. it's also a bar. Yeah, it's there's tons to of beers in there. Since you're standing in it. No, we're not. This is. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> it's a weapon Go dealer. Go see Moira at Craterside Supply. Yep. She sells some weapons. Makes some, too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. Kind of isn't. It is Craterside in the name, but... You'll want to see Doc Church next to the crater. He Take He's more time. next to the crater. Yeah. Oh, no problem. I'm not busy at all. <laughs> I'm not plenty busy. Plenty of time to talk to strangers. It's funny how... The sarcasm probably isn't read there. You, you can't, if you read it normally, you wouldn't be able to tell the sarcasm. Whatever. Whatever. This is inflection. Sells a lot about it. 18 reds. Yep. It's a lot more health. Oh. Okay, which one are you using? Because I need to take a drink. Okay, I'll assume it's this one that you're using. Yep, just increasing our reds. Oh, radiation. You now, you now have radiation poisoning. Visit a doctor or take rad away to lower your radiation level. You can also protect yourself ahead of time by taking radex, which increases your radiation resistance. I remember, uh, Paul New Vegas. You get so little rad away. <laughs> Take a sip. <laughs> Look, I'm doing this for science and for my perverted pleasures. 
Oh, the radiation has gone up to nine, 19 plus because you're more susceptible the more ra radiated you are. I think the next bar is the next... Yeah, plus 20. Okay. I've reached the, the criticality wire wanted from us. Let's just look at the data. Look out. Ooh. Yep. One sippy at a time. Extreme thirst. Man, Andy won't... <laughs> uh, let you drink from the tap. Shake my head. Rip. Hi, uh, Maggie. Hi, I'm Maggie. I live with Billy. Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything, but he takes care of me now. Anyway, <laughs> I should go. Bye. <laughs> Great story. Who takes care of you? I wonder, if, uh, who could it be? Billy does. Have you met Billy? Billy Creel? A long, long time ago, he saved me from raiders. They killed my real parents. Wow, the but depth of the Billy story. Billy showed up before they got me. And now he's like my daddy. Sort of. Oh, neat, neat thing. I mean, Riku's here, so that's fun. But um, I noticed, like, randomly for the first time that when I blink, my old uh, VTuber model, it uh, the, the tongue was a different color for some reason. I think it was just, like, a little bit more saturated. But I was able... Because you uh, you gave me the files that were all, like, neatly ordered, so they're all, like, centered, I was able to go into a, um, a, <laughs> a picture editing program. I use... Uh, what do I use? Uh, something Pia? Uh, let me look it up again. Photo Pia. It's a, uh, it's an in-browser, like, basically Photoshop. It works really nice. I, I did, like, the thumbnails and stuff for this video with it. But, um, so I just, like, put... Originally, I was gonna, like... Originally, I was trying to, uh, paint drop... Paint, uh, color dropper the 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 origin the tongue that's like with the eyes open and then just uh color draw and then paint bucket fill the t the tongue on the other one to match the color and then i noticed like oh no that's that that works but it makes it look like you know that it was paint filled so apparently this worked what i did instead where i just like layered the two on top of each other and then just deleted the section where the tongue was on the on the uh the tongue that wasn't like the right color so that the underneath tongue would show and so yeah it worked photopia so i was pretty happy about that just a quick little fix that didn't involve like using the paint bucket fill tool that always is like a little finicky because it, it wouldn't be like you know the exact like fill it would be like i'd have to put in the tolerances and it still wouldn't look the same so it's good that i was able to just like layered on top of each other and just delete the part and show the other one underneath. Uh, what do you think of Megaton? It's okay, I guess. I used to live way Stop far saying away Billy. when I was little, before Billy found me. It's like she said Billy like f several times. I don't talk Billy, Billy, Billy. Billy says ah. that I have to be careful, even when people seem nice. And I'm Big brain moves. Thank you. I'm especially not allowed to talk to Mr. Jericho. I usually play with Harden most days, when his dad isn't taking him out to learn to shoot or something. Billy oh. says that he's going to teach me to shoot one. I don't remember, two. Hardy. Bye, mister. Bye, mister. Hi, Mara. You know, I think I've found a Ooh. new way to prepare rad roast oh, no. meat. Still tastes like old feet, though. Dan Harmon. Anyway, what's up with you? No, Dan Schneider. That's who I was thinking of, not Harmon. I, I forgot who that is, but Dan Harmon's the one from... Uh, Community and Rick and Morty. <laughs> I unfortunately met J Dan Schneider. I'm sorry. Let's talk about radiation. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather or a bit over the Geiger counter. <laughs> <laughs> Again, uh, I'm about to radiate. I'm about as radiated as I can get without burning a hole through the floor. In the floor. I oh my God. Tell. You're positively glowing. Aw. Now just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. I need to be more comfortable with ad-libbing things instead of being upset that I didn't write, read it correctly. Uh, just do experimentation and fix me up, please. You're a mighty lucky one, you know that. At this state, most people have trouble standing up, much less walking over here. 
Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle yeah, that. Yeah, the kids in this town are pretty forgettable. my own homemade rad cure concoction. Not like I've little lamp light or whatever. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. <laughs> but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Oh, okay. hold still. A little ramen milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Oh, thank you. Well, you're Thanks, Riku. alive. Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny <laughs> tiny um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems. As my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Aw. Brad regeneration perk added. Moira's experiment had an unexpected side effect. Now, when you suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, crippled limbs automatically regenerate. That's fun. I'm ready for to continue research on the next chapter. I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge <gasps> stores out there. Exciting. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? My fancy has been stricken by the food. Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. <laughs> What's the pay? Hopefully, you'll be finding food and medicine. But I could sweeten the deal by paying more food when <gasps> you get back, regardless I love food. of the results. While you're away, I can at least very search food through motivated. my junk and see if there's anything that'll Put a hot dog on a stick and I'll, food to make I'll walk it more forward. appetizing. Or walk backwards, depending on where it's located. Um, okay. I'll check the Super Duper Mart. Oh, great. Food is most important. But see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? One piece is real. Okay. One piece is real. Try not. Okay. Try not to die for you, Moira. Coochie coochie coo. Wow. It's only been like two hours in this town. <laughs> I take these games real slow, especially because I'm streaming them. <laughs> That's the yeah. name of the treasure. Ho ho ho. We're all still breathing, so I know you didn't screw up. You got I watched a lot of One Piece when I was really young, and when they're airing it on Cartoon Network, I'd watch it after school, have a great time. I used to <laughs> be a very round kid because I would eat I would get Burger King chicken fries and watch my One Piece and have a great ass time I do appreciate a button uh, a game with an automatic run button <laughs> someone here is a One Piecer Grand Night Line no less <laughs> How to trap a raccoon. Trying to find the hollow rock. I think it's this one. Oh my god. Oh, it's... Sorry, guy. God, you exploded. is isn't this one, but it's close by. Might have passed it, actually. Hollow rocks have, like, a marking on them, too. Oh god. See yeah, how this fight looks from a third-person perspective. Wow. Exciting. Where's that hollow rock syndrome? Hollow bone syndrome. Also known as bird syndrome. Oh, there's a ton of hollowed rocks in this game. It's just like little easter eggs will come across. But I know the one that I'm looking for has... Uh, I think it's hollowed because there's like an assassination note in it. And that's why there's a sniper rifle there too. Hi. That's right. I'm not using vats. Like a pro. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Stealth boy, sniper rifle, stim packs, and as requested. Let's read this note. S. Here's the stuff you wanted. If anyone asks where you got it, say it was a gift from your grandma. Happy hunting, E. Uh-oh. Uh. Let me just... Alt-tab for a sec. 
I scrolled down on the chat. It messed things up. But now we're good. If I scroll some more, though... Oh, okay. I've had issues with games, like, uh... Scrolling on other windows. Oh my god, the, the jump at me. Nice. By the way, Riku, if you're curious, I'm going for a high luck run and a high intelligence. Because intelligence just is worth it, having a high score in. I'm so... At the start of runs, I like to teleport to Riveton. Uh, Rivet, Riveton. I like to teleport to Rivet City and just pick up the science bobblehead so I have the 10... I have the 10 intelligence early on, but that's fine if I don't have 10 intelligence. It's just like... Like 30 skill points. It is like 30 skill points, though. Maybe I should... <laughs> no, we're fine. The Luna. Don't have to cheat. It's just like the... The... The skill checks. I've been... If there's like a percentage on a speech check, I've just been rolling with the punches. Instead of save scumming them. Because I'm brave. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. It's like I wasn't even noticing there's a map marker. Smarty Raccoon is too lucky. It's... <laughs> in lore, it's like... Maybe my intelligence is actually where my luck comes from. Just being able to make predictions kind of works as a sense of luck. Because you're able to weigh things in your favor. Oh. That, uh... That marker is definitely one of the fire ants, I'm guessing. Oh, no, it isn't. It's a, it's a bloat fly. It's coming for me. Come on. Yes. Shit. I know vats would take care of this in an instant. Oh, come on. Okay, fine. Fuck it. It's one experience, and I've wasted, like, 20 bullets on it. It's not worth it. Ugh. I would like to play the music. But I don't need more copyright claims. <laughs> I was actually pretty... It, it was okay that I got copyright claimed on a few of the... <clears throat> well, it wasn't claimed. It was just... I, I don't know what the term is, but... On the back end of YouTube, it picked up, like, it picked up the intro song for this game, where it was, I don't want to set the world on fire. And, apparently, in Party Animals, it picks up the lobby music. Oh my god, my throat has gravel in it. Let me just, uh... Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> that helps. Wow, really? Yeah, it, so, it picked it up, but... In, in the back end, it says that, and, like, if you go to the VOD of the past one, or or the, the recording of this, uh, the video that's up from the first VOD of uh, Fallout, there's, uh, like, you'll, you'll see in the description that'll show, like, oh, music by whatever, by, by the person who made <laughs> Setting the World on Fire. Um, but it didn't affect my video in any way. But supposedly, it could affect my video in the future if I get monetized. So, yeah, weird, huh? A lot of the time, I, f I just find the raiders dead here already, because they lost this fight. Oh, but they won the fight against the Eddie this time. Whoa. I think this is the first raider fight we're having. First of many. Oh god, they're blowing up the cars. Yeah. Okay, they're not shooting me. Ooh, level up. Not bad. Yeah, it is very weird. <laughs> That's okay. YouTube will be YouTube. I guess we're using guns. Might as well put some into small guns. Some speech. Get to listen to this cute music. Maybe that'll get claimed too. Maybe I should put on Enclave Radio. I feel like that's less likely to get claimed. I went with, uh... Widow Killer or whatever. 
That was my first perk, the one where it's Lady Killer. That's what it is. No, no. No. I don't, I, you'll get enough experience throughout this game, so no. And no, I guess I'm gonna go intense training. Yeah, why not? Intense training's good. Do I care about the most? I think endurance is good. Charisma. Charisma's literally just increasing <clears throat> the two skills, the barter and speech, so it's not really that useful from my experience. Perception's pretty good, because it shows when enemies appear on your mar map. Uh, I don't even, I'm not using vats, so agility's really useless for me. I should have put less points into agility, frankly. I think I'll go with perception. My perception is good. Do, do, do. Strength and intelligence. Or, I mean, strength would have been an option too, but that's fine. I've been using guns, so. Let's pick up all this loot. Try not to get all their armor, though. The armor in this game clutters your inventory so quickly. You, uh, try getting it all. These people had so much food. Really important information for the Wasteland Survival Guide. Why am I always, like, fighting burping every time I get onto stream? <laughs> it's... Like, of course it's fine if I burp, but I prefer not to, but... Even so, it's just, uh... It's just a constant struggle of me, like, uh, uh, uh. What if it's my Trader Joe diet? <laughs> uh. 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 Get away! No! No! <laughs> Those monsters... They're, they're gonna get me! Oh, what's the matter? Those things. <gasps> it's a reference, old movie. They scare me. Make it stop. My I'm str my strength is that good. Oh, it is it is higher than normal, I guess. Um I want to try doing the speech checks. They're fun. St streaming intolerant. Oh. Fuck. Those things, they're right behind me. Leave me alone. Okay, good. At least I have this other option. Uh, hey kid, I'm, it's okay. I'm big. I'm a big tough guy. I can take care of you. I wonder if what happens if you're a girl. Did say you're a big tough girl? You look stronger than all the other grown-ups. <laughs> can you, can you protect me? Yeah, I'll help you out. Uh, <laughs> it helps gonna cost caps. I could, and I think he tells you like where. I think I should select this because it tell he gives you a stash key, and if I think if you don't say this, he he doesn't give you a stash. You grown ups are all the same. Uh oh. My papa is missing, and I think the ants may have gotten him. I hope they get you too. No. Fuck. No. No. I'm not talking to you anymore. You're a jerk. <laughs> and I hate you. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. What's it gonna take uh for you to forgive me? When I was bad, my papa made me apologize three times, <laughs> then decided if I was really sorry or not. You want to talk to me about stuff? Say you're sorry three times. <laughs> I've never had this option me. before. That's so funny. Okay, I'm sorry three times. <laughs> Smart ass. Okay, I'm sorry three times. Ha, that's exactly what you said to say. Oh man, you got me. <laughs> I guess I accept your apology. That's so funny. Fucking smart ass. Uh, <laughs> I was greedy anyway, so that's fair. <laughs> Good emote. Noid. Um, er, erm, actually. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, this is important. It's very important. Put this up for the rest of the stream. It's very important. <laughs> I, I'm, this is my punishment for being a smartass. Uh, can I I'm gonna add a filter onto this? Can, can I make it like transparent? Can I make this into a trans fl pride flag somehow? 
Where's the Erm actually tr trans tried flag? The resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> uh, chroma key. Custom color. Hello? Uh, yeah, select screen color. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh opacity oh no no it's fine don't know what option that was at whoa that's pretty good that was creepy for a second <laughs> <laughs> this is my penance for now. We'll, we'll take it off later. <clears throat> Stay tuned, I'll take it off later. Uh, what happened here? It used to be kind of nice. No one bothered us there. Creepy pasta. We <laughs> oh yeah, it turned gray scaled for a second. <laughs> there were seven of us living there in tall, old brick houses. I think I'm the last one left. Those things took everyone else. Uh, did you know the others in town very well? Is that... I guess that's important. Nah. People don't like to stay long in Great Itch. The DC ruins... Great Itch really is a ditch. Make a home, you know. In oh. fact, Papa was talking about moving on soon. We've been Advanced here facial years animations. Years. Whoa. Most live in Great Itch. Um, besides me and my Papa... My Papa. Doc Lesko, who stayed with us, and Will Brandis, and his Mama and Papa, too. I feel like these are I, names. These names are references to the movie, too. To the movie those or whatever the, the the big giant ants movies from the 1950s all right what is it or whatever it was mind if i ask you uh, i ask about some of the people who lived there here uh, go ahead Fuck. it's just nice to talk to anyone about stuff at all relatable tell me about this doc lesko he was a strange man he paid papa some caps to help him build a shack and carry a bunch of junk into it Papa called him an egghead. <laughs> His head was shaped regular, so I didn't get it. Um, erm, um, erm, um, actually. Speaking of eggheads, where Doc Lesko stay? He spent all of his time in that shack next door to my house. Every time I'd sneak in there, he'd be sitting <laughs> at that funny-looking TV machine with the green words pushing <laughs> buttons. My first germ of minus two. Thank you. Uh, okay, he had a silly, wacky shack where he experimented on uh, little ants that turned into big ants. Got it. Uh, that's probably not the lore. Do you have any idea where that, what Doc Lesko was doing in Great Itch? Nah, he was a nice man, but he never wanted to play with me very much, and we barely talked. All I know is he was all... Oh. Let's stop the game. Oh, when the ants started showing up. I think they got him too. Oh no. Did Doc Lesko have any weird stuff in his place? <laughs> Guy any drugs, kid? I don't know. All kinds of doohickeys. And what you call it and lots of lights, some funny wimble glass bobbles. bottles. Oh wait, he had a big clunky shiny man too. That was kind of neat. His man had a big shiner. Doc Lesko would bop him one or two. Uh, about the other people in Great Itch. Yeah? Tell me about the Brandeis family. Well, is that a, is like a Will. content creator he family? My friend. And then there was his dad and his mom. Like, like the uh, Ace family or the, the, the party of five. <laughs> These are all horrible things I'm referencing. Where did the, uh, where did they live? Right across the street, actually. It was pretty swell having someone to hang out with so close by. <laughs> Poor Scruffy. Uh, so you and Will are, are good friends? Yeah, Will was super nice to me. He was like a year older than me, I think. He even shared his comic books with me. Ooh, Chad. We explored Chad. pretty much every bit of Great Itch we could find. I think that's why the ants don't bother me. I have good hiding spots. <laughs> uh... <laughs> 
Because ants are known to be terrible at finding things. Uh, how about Will's parents? Well, his mom was nice, too. She was kind of quiet, but she always took care of me and my papa when we came over. I think she was sad that my mom was gone. Will's dad was... Well, I don't want to be mean, but he was kind of scary. Uh, Will's dad was scary. How so? I... I... Wow, the roleplay isn't even roleplay anymore, because I was curious about that too. Oh my god. He was like, always watching me and my dad real careful, like, he didn't trust us. <laughs> he always kept staring at us from the windows of his house and typing stuff into his TV box. <laughs> Hunched over. I get to read those later, I bet. Like an old soldier or something. Ooh. He didn't like doing that stuff, so he quit. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> all the information. Okay, uh, what can you tell me more about the things attacking Great Itch? Well, they're big, ugly things that crawl around on six legs. They got huge teeth and skitter around grabbing everything skitter. in their path. My papa would always skitter say, Skitter done. Fucking ants. Well, that's what he <laughs> call them anyway. I just call them come, fire ants. So somebody come skid her. She's dancing like... I forget what what derogatory thing that comes after that. Uh, is there any special way to hurt them? My papa had a gun. He said it hurt those things. But he said they were the dumbest fucking ants he ever saw. <laughs> he kept telling everyone... Oh yeah, it is stripper. Tenor, whatever that means. Stripper, like the thing I used to... Get paint off a wall? The paint stripper? No... Those things started coming around only in the last few months. At first, they just crawled around outside our town. But later, they came into town. And, well, you know. Oh, God, that looks horrible. Actually, let's. Never mind that. None of the rest. All right. What is it? It's so easy to make things opa like uh, transparent when you're doing the chroma key because it, it like loves to suck out whatever color you're using from the image uh, the colors in the image too so it's a really like it's a balancing act where you have to it, it's really helpful to have a reference uh color like behind the image to know that you're actually chroma keying it cr properly uh <laughs> i i used to use a green screen on streams and there were times where i like i i'm i'm sure they're like tons of streams where I was accidentally transparent and I didn't realize it because I got the chroma key wrong. <laughs> uh, where are your house at? Look for the house nearest to the billboard. That's sticking out of the ground. It's pretty close to the diner. You can't miss it. It's so interesting. Like, he came running from way not where his house is. His house is like, like, uh, I was, I was gonna say 180 behind us, essentially, but like, like, uh, let's get real technical here. Uh, what's this angle here? It's an acute angle, so if it's that, it's gonna be an obtuse, right? So this is like, it's like, um, let's say this is like a sixty percent angle, sure. So one eighty minus sixty, so okay, so about. <laughs> from where we're standing to the right it's about 120 degrees away from us like in that direction um i'm i'm not in this i'm not in a say i'm not i'm not of sane mind right now is what i'm trying to say as you can clearly hear <sighs> i was really tired and delirious last stream and i feel like that's not that's no different this stream <laughs> now that i <laughs> now that I'm saying what I'm saying. Okay, I'll go look for your father. You will? Really? Thanks a whole lot. A whole lot. My house is the one closest to the huge sign in the old diner. You don't say. Please. Find my papa and make him come back. Ooh. Oh, this is the option that I was looking for. He'll give me, like, a key to a stash. Okay, I've failed all these s speech checks so far. Every single one that I've had. I failed one that was like 47%, I failed one that was 20%, and I'm going to fail one that's 23%. But, if I know about probability, it's 
it's more likely now that I'll get this one, right? Look, anything else you can do... Anything else you can do to help might save lives. You yes! Know, maybe this Probability help, works! Maybe it won't. But Papa hid a bunch of stuff behind the old diner and a dumpster. He trusted me with the key and said it was for emergencies. Let's go! Mind you having it. Wow. One can hope it was us and we did it. We did it, chat. Wow. Chat. Like, seriously, chat? <laughs> Um, is there anywhere you can hide while I search? Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. Papa always said <laughs> the, to stay away from it. It's like the future of a suicide I booth. I guess it's supposed to be safe. Sorry, it's I'll like, um... wait inside. Hurry back. I don't know if you can say that word on Twitch. It's the... The end life booth. Um... Look, Matt... Blame Matt Groening for a lot of things, because... Let's... Let's not talk about Matt Groening anymore. But he's the one who made that, not me. <laughs> Mods don't clip that part, but clip the other moment where it was poggers. Take your cola. Take your cola can't. It's it's like coelacanth, but I think it's spelled like cola can't. I like coelacanths. They're a blast from the past. I guess that's what it says in, uh, in Animal Crossing when you catch one. Oh, I love this bit. So you could literally just hop over this, uh, shelving unit. By the way, I'm hiding because there's, like, raiders in here, supposedly. But there's this locked... Oh, it's not locked. Oh, okay. thought this door was locked. It was silly because you could just hop over it. I think if I activate that intercom, it, like, spooks them. It gets their attention. I'll cap mine. Laser pistol. Hey-o. That's new. I love the simple mini game. The simple uh, lock picking mini game that these games have. Uh oh, caution. Shit. Oh, they saw me. Kick ass. It's gonna be a really epic fight. Damn it. Damn, this I suck. The hell with this? Damn it. Advanced AI. He he like retreated and stuff and it's much better than uh Starfield's AI, if I'm being honest. I haven't played Starfield, but I've seen people play it in oh boy. That's something that's so embarrassing. I was watching people play Starfield, and, like, like the tutorial people, you can't even kill them. Like, I don't know, there's, there's just something about that that feels so, like, oh, that was, those are the, those are the food storage that I need to collect for Moira. It's so silly how, like, like, they just took away that, that, like, aspect of the game where it's, you just have fun, <laughs> you know? Like, I, I like, listen, you, you've, you've been watching me play, and... I like to, like, listen to the whole story and all that. I, I, give, I try to give the game, like, its moment to do whatever it wants to do, but... But my god, like, <laughs> there's just something that, like, young me at the, at the game cave, like, just can't, you know, just can't reconcile that Bethesda took that away from people. The ability to just, like, just do shit. <laughs> like, it's okay if it, like, fails the mission and everyone's, like you know, gonna be angry at you, it's, it, at least you got to, like, experience the, uh, the fun of, like, this timeline where you did shoot up the whole place, and, uh, in this video game, and, <laughs> and just see what the re re NPC reaction was like. Shooting people <laughs> when their back is turned and running away, so epic. Right. I'm glad you agree about the, uh, <laughs> the Bethesda rant. Oh god. Oh, actually this might be fun. A sniper rifle. I'm like sandwiched between two people. Not position I'm in often. Yes! Oh my god, that was epic.
<laughs> Sneak attacks. Oh, I get. I need to get more ammo for this thing. This is like clearing any enemy I have like in one hit. Wow. I'm way overpowered right now. Like everyone was like a bullet sponge before. You can like lose all these bodies. This track of where they are. Good thing my perception's up because I saw that person was a. Uh... There's another person around here. So the red dot. Ambient. It's gonna be close combat, and I don't think I'll alert anyone, so. Let's, uh. Play around with the laser pistol. I'll get rid of the urm actually in a second. I didn't realize that I was covering up the. the red thing I was just talking about. On the map. Okay, urm actually, we had a lot of fun. <sighs> but your relevance is lost. And you have lost subscriber for it. I deservingly should have lost subscriber for it. Please don't. I need all of you so desperately. Picking up bottle cap mines. Not bad. Picking up a lot of junk too, though. I'm encumbered. My bun is cumbered. Not even in a little tuxedo. Pharmacy key. Okay, that's nice, but I want to unlock the door so I can get the experience. Erm. Um, Erm, um actually, though. Put some stuff away. Oh, well, the pack rat in me wants to, like, <laughs> teleport back to Megaton, sell a bunch of shit, then come back. But no, we'll, we'll try. Ooh. That stuff's good. That stuff's useful for uh, being a really good melee weapon. If I ever get the schematic for it. It's to make the shish kebab. Squintman's famous Bethesda rant. My arms are crossed and I'm ready to cr cr critique this million billion dollar company yeah um bethesda you're gonna be through after i'm done better luck next time bethesda uh bethesda you didn't consider uh the fans yeah we know what we're talking about oh hi it's like a t i was like uh Counter-Strike surfing, not even realizing there was an enemy here. Oh, they have a start-off shotgun. Weapon condition. Oh my god, I'm low on health. Oh. Eat a bunch of junk. What were they thinking? <laughs> Uh, I researched all your food, but then I ate it. I you can regain health by, like, you know, sitting in beds and stuff, but... Look at all the weight I'm reducing. By eating. Shh, you're waiting for me! It's just me or the AI is like impressively entertaining for how uh, old this game is. Like there's simple like movements to get behind shit actually works like way better than a lot of unfinished AI does nowadays. From AI, from complaining about AI art to complaining about AI in video games. That's what we do here on uh, Raccoon Pizza Party. 
We complain about video games. Oh, gun. Why does it look like Vegas? Why does it look like Vegas? That's the... I hate it. That's the Nostalgia Critic <laughs> review. I know about that bit. It's good. That's exactly what I was talking about before. When it, if you were, I think you were here for that. Yeah, you were. That was during Party Animals. When I was, it's the, uh, it's the thing where, <laughs> it's the complaint against the nostalgia critic where he's like, he doesn't really know what he's talking about half the time, because he hasn't really like, he's just like consumed the media, but he doesn't really like understand what about it actually works or not. Look for bodies that fell everywhere. There it is. I mean, I think over time now he's gotten good at it, probably. I, I don't really watch him, but... And talk about food, that's right. But the uh, the general trend about him... I mean, he, he's, a, he's entertainment. It doesn't matter if he's, like, actually good at reviewing, you know? It's people who actually... I guess he considers himself a reviewer, though. That's, like, his thing. He's a... <laughs> whatever. He has charm outside of that. That's why people like him. He doesn't have to be, like, actually good at reviewing shit. <laughs> he could just be a funny guy who's yelling about uh, Disney movies or whatever. Like, like, uh, AVGN. He, he actually had good opinions about video games, but... I mean, he technically didn't have to. <laughs> he could have just been, like, you know, goofy and, like, yelling at the screen and, uh diarying on uh, Bugs Bunny like he does. Hey, look at that. More stuff I need to eat. Yay. My favorite. Salisbury. This is just like... <laughs> this is basically uh, Trader Joe's. Except it's huge. Trader Joe's is a lot smaller normally. This is Mega Joe's. This is Joe Biden's America. If he gets his way. But we won't let him. I know I was in here before. Just double checking. <laughs> Some armor I dropped before. I could have sworn I, there was like more people I shot. Uh, there's the one person up there. No, I think that's pretty much all of them, actually. Oh, food. More food. Yeah, I'm over encumbered. Let's go, chat. Over encumbered. Uh, I think spiked is better. Woo! I love item management. I feel like Leon. Resi Evil. Oh, fuck me. I'm starting to regret not putting my my points into uh into strength. So when I had more hunting rifles. Oh boy. Time to play a hacker game. Walking. Okay. Tactics. Ooh. Okay. Might be Bastion. It was! Yes! I know what I'm doing! I'm a real hacker. Oh. Damn it, I want to unlock the door from... Oh, I want to... It's fine. It's fine. I want the experience from both. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. I'm not, I don't need to reload. Even though it was just a second before, and I could- whatever. 
I was so proud of the Bastion thing. We're just gonna just gonna move on from it. It's the reason I didn't open get that key earlier. Want to go with spikes? Mind if I do? Buyer. Dirty water. I turn on my, off my lights because I know it's coming up next. I will. I'll wait for now. Oh boy, let's collect a bunch of junk and then manage inventory. Woo! I'm definitely getting that pack rat perk the moment I can get it. This is plot for you. We're scavenging. I do like in Fallout New Vegas, there's a point to getting, like, specifically the sarsaparillas. <clears throat> it's fun to have that collection grow. Sunset sarsaparilla caps. I do like, though, in this game, there's the super fan of uh, Nuka-Cola stuff. It's really cool when, when, like, people in the universe are really into the products and stuff. I like that. It's also really cool when Nintendo puts... Duracell batteries in their RTS Pikmin game. I approve. Makes it feel more relatable, oddly. Really odd, I know. Really odd future. Oh, nice. Ploy ID. No, these are a lot of things that I can bring back with me. Oh, shit, I shouldn't have taken that. Shouldn't have opened that box yet. I fucked up. It's fine. I think taking that medical box is what triggers the event. Might be wrong, though. I'm gonna save here. So, it's canon. I can't go back and open that door <clears throat> the right way. Pipes. Is it yes? Is yes the... Oh, it is. Okay. So, it's a P on the... Or, yep. Yeah. No. There's no P... It's ES, and then the first three letters, or one of them is, like, cases would not work. Because too many letters. Wakes might be it. Nope. But it is the A. So it's the AES is what we're looking for, but I'm gonna need to get my replenishments back. I can. To replenish my chances. There we go. Now that we're here, though, might as well remove a few duds. A few milk duds. Add that to my popcorn. Have a great time. Okay, so it's A, E, S, so takes. I forgot if I already did takes, though. The cages. Strike cages and then takes. It's cages. I'm getting better at this. Uh, for more top of the line Roboc Rob Robco products, see your local showroom. Run maintenance routine. I'll take the ID. Loading personality. Robco <laughs> R04 V9. Look at this. Office this buddy. Offer. Running default office protocol. Error. Error. Loading daily agenda. Error. Security breach detected. Please stand back. Hang on. Greetings, fellow office here. employee. Please present your valid ID. Someone just talked over the intercom. Scanning. For office ID. Yay, we're good. ID accepted. Have. Okay, let's uh. Let's drink. 
beer. Nice. I'm gonna put a bunch of junk in here. Here is really junk. 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 Clear out five more things, goddamn. Uh why why did I do this to myself? Why? God, why? Why God? No. I'm trying to think I do the Michael Scott thing. Uh, wow, Assault Rifle's actually really good damage. Oh shit, I'm gonna equip that next. Uh, the thing is, I'm even tempted to come back here for this junk. Not even kidding. If that's the case, fuck it. Save. Oh, they took the ID, nice. Uh... Assault rifle. This guy's on my side. It's not my tie. He's looking for baddies. I'm gonna wait it out until he starts shooting. Oh. He's got his arm out. Nice. Use of deadly. No, it's not necessary. No. Please direct complaint to your local law enforcement authorities. Not going to. Oh, there's one back there. Oh, I think I can like set these to custom things. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Can I get this shot? This is stupid. <laughs> what a waste. There. Fucking what a waste, but it was fun. I have a lot of stuff I, I can waste in this game. Wow, that's the spread on this weapon. Thank God I'm not encumbered yet. Advanced AI! Like a stun in the game, pretty much. Is that everyone? Sure felt like everyone. There's our friend. Why'd I put all that stuff in the back of the store? Damn it. Okay. That looks like everyone. Hopefully our robot's still whirring away. There he is. Pickpocket him, I forget. Nope. Got no pockets. Woo. I love that. It's like... In a battle royale or something, you need to check behind you. <laughs> oh. Cigarettes. Nope, okay. Ah, beautiful.
it's fast travel. Sure, when I get there, I'll be over encumbered. Yep. Maybe become an alcoholic at this rate. Okay, but we're good for now. I need to do the mission where I repair these so I can get rid of the scrap metal in my pockets. Now I know I've never seen you in Jenny. Time before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. One of the four anyway, voice actors in this game. In the right place. What can I get you? There's a handful of voice actors, but <clears throat> big stretch. That's it. Big stretch. But they sure do reshuffle a, a big, <laughs> a handful of them. She's got a common one. Hey, I won't say it's all fresh, but it'll keep you going. Thank you. What can I sell you? Not food. Probably. Can you eat these? Probably not. God, the amount of damage these do. <laughs> Gotta use those on a, uh... One of those super mega mutants. Not a reference to anything. Not intentionally, at least. Uh, sure. Just want to clear out my inventory. And you know what? I've cared less and less for these the, the longer I've sat with them, so... Keep, like, two of them. That'll... Be able to repair themselves. Oh, three of them. I keep like the three most ready ones. That one's already ready. Yeah, that's last. Uh, sure. Yep. Yep. Oh, I remember. Blood packs get to. <laughs> They'll be more powerful later on. That's funny. Forgot about that quest. Ooh. So quantum. They're weightless, so I might as well buy them. Stim packs. Just like it's exchanging things that have weight for things that don't have weight. It's always kind of worth it to sell them. Combat Knights. Combat knife is light. Pick that back up. Same with a few of these, I guess. Except. Okay. Enjoy. Uh, what can you tell me about Megaton? Some people hate this place. We're but back to this, folks. Right. Just, just interrogating everyone. Life. Food, shelter, and safety. Works for me. I'm gonna take a big sip. Reminder, everyone, to hide to wait. This is, uh, caffeinated, though, so maybe I'm not hydrating as much as I think I am. So we're around town. I ain't heard much, truth be told. I don't really ever leave the lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, <gasps> you know? You know! Remember us if you need something. Remember me. I think the guy for the pipe repairs is in this shack up here. Moo. First moo of the game. Wow. I love cows. Cows are some of my favorite animals. Water treat uh, processing plant. Yep, that's the place to be. Whoa. Walter. What do you need? Oh my gosh, this voice. Is this the Enclave guy too? Uh, what can I do to help around here? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much. I love how quest voice this guy is. How, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. It's like a guy that you that. Of course he gives you a quest. Just he's so excited to tell you about what's going on here and how he needs help. 
Can't you fix these pipes? The pipes? I could, but I can't hunt for leaks all damn day. <laughs> that rust bucket purifier would fall apart without me around to plug it up. The only break I get is when I shut the thing off for the night. Yeah. And I can't look for leaks when the water isn't running. The radiation rises at night, huh? How many leaks are there? From the pressure in the plant, my three guess of them. is that there are three of them scattered around. I know where they are. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. Tricky dicky. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. There's so many th uh, things in this game. Oh god, almost spilled something. There's so many uh, quests in this game that unlock um, a reason to use scrap or a, a reason to use junk items. So in this case, uh, after you finish this quest, he'll ask for like, you can infinitely give him stacks of scrap metal and get a bunch of caps from that. Instead of, pay, instead of selling scrap metal for like one cap a piece normally. What did you need me to do again? Uh, what can you tell me about Megaton? What can I tell you about Megaton? <laughs> well, that fucking bomb is killing us all Well, that slowly. fucking that bomb. A piece of information? <laughs> I love that. What do you do around here? I take care of the water purification plant. This old rusted hunk keeps us in clean water. For now. True. True. What's the what's the word around here? Well, people have been saying that the water purifier is about to go. Honestly, I'll tell you what I <laughs> One tell track them. Mind. I've been keeping that wreck going for 35 years. 35 and this is the first years. time I've ever had a problem I couldn't fix. Okay. Well, back to work. Don't even think of breaking into that. It's really hard to. I don't have the skill to even. You know what's in there. I know me. I know my Fallout Three quests. Ooh. Yeah. Good. Probably not the most efficient route, but whatever. Oh, I need thirty or higher. Fuck. I need to level up before I do this quest, I guess. Aw, oh, man. Okay, I guess I need to talk to Moira. That'd probably be for the best. Hopefully I can... Hopefully she gives me experience, but I don't know if she does for this chunk of the quest. Oh. Okay. Did it just turn, like... No? Okay, it's been open for a little bit. Back that had the... The locked thing. Surprised me. Uh, where are you? Oh, there she is. Okay, hi. A lot going on up here. Oh, that's your bed. So, how's the scabbing been? Got the food medicine from that. I feel super like I'm starting mark? to slur my words more because I'm getting sweepy. I'm not gonna lie about checking it. Uh, it wasn't easy, but I got food and medicine. Really? You did? You did? Well, all right. Tell me all about it. Essentially, 12 hours from now is when the next Squaint cast is, so get hyped for that, uh, people who are listening to this second part of the Fallout series uh, in a video format on the main channel. There's only one channel. Uh, the Raiders were using the pharmacy as a place to store their best gear. So you're saying that they acquired a well-protected stash? Hmm. I wonder how many other places are hiding treasures behind monsters. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. Yay. Tastes kind of great after a while. Hmm. Oh, and Ooh. take this. Oh, yeah, this thing. It's, old it's really food useful. Sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more, uh, better. <laughs> Dope. Uh, let's finish up the chapter with the landmine research. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. <laughs> Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in wow. there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Seems kind of unhealthy. How will you make it worth my while? What better reward for avoiding explosives than to pay you with explosives? Yay. 
frag grenades in this case. I got a pretty good haul of them recently. And if you bring me back something to yeah. study, maybe I can make some modifications for you. Nothing like tinkering with a live mine, right? True. Okay, I'll head to the minefield. Wish me luck. Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since mm. ghosts don't exist, you can just I think they say the, the town has a ghost, from what I recall. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories <laughs> to tell. Okay, I think this is my cue to use a stealth boy, if I'm being honest. Should make me invisible. Assault rifles, take this ammo, sure. And this is for the sniper rifle. Okay. Okay, just gonna sell most of the things she gave me. Yep. Okay, looking good. Good hunting. Got tons of ammo. Come back soon. everyone Lucy I don't recognize you new in town or something sure am sure Sam stopped in to find something to do I hope by something to do you mean a job. <laughs> otherwise you want to talk with Nova oh my I'm looking for someone to make a delivery oh interested job usually means I get paid actually I don't have oh. any caps with me I used everything I had buying a shack in this town. Huh. But if you'd be nice enough to help me, I bet my father would pay you something for all the trip. What do you say? Sure, why not? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. It's pretty far, I if I recall. Heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Can you give me some information about Arafu? Blood ties. Oh, that's rude. Okay. Sure. Be glad to since you're doing me a big favor and all. Where is Arafu? Arafu is northwest Arafu. of Megaton on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, Potomac. you can't miss it. Do you expect your family is in danger? No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there, I know what sure happens. be appreciated. Close lives there. Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town. Frozen in time. Then there's my family, the Ewer family. Who are and you? a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. Hmm. Is there anything dangerous around there I should know about? What? Apart from the wasteland critters? You are not telling me the parties, truth. Raider hit squads and occasional landmines? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's completely safe. Okay, if you if put it like that. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. You're welk. Oh, just a settler? Okay. Why am I so tempted to go back to the... What's my wait at? Okay, I think I might go back to the uh, supermarket just to pick up some of the junk I left there. If there's anything actually worth picking up. I'm pretty sure there wasn't. God, mine feels even farther. Oh, yeah, no. A Arafu is, like, right there. It's so not as far. It's so weird that they give you the minefield quest so early on. Oh, there he is. Hi, guy. Uh, sure. I love collecting junk. Oh. 
What's that? It's bottles. Oh, more darts. Nice. Would have missed that. Were it not for my greed. Thank goodness for my greed. For my, of my, thank goodness for my pot of greed. Nah. There, now you're with your friends. There's a few walls of this place that I just never, like, looked at. Guess there's a reason why, because there's nothing there. Feels like I'm wearing nothing there. Nothing there. Man, yeah, music sure would be nice right now. Maybe I should put on music. I have a tab open for not copyrighted lo-fi that I could put on sometime. Oh, I just remembered about the random encounter mechanics. There's definitely one coming up here, if I recall. Just randomly around this, the map, there's a chance to encounter a set pool of random events. Very, very this game was full of a lot of a lot of very clever things. Gotta say. Oh, let's see what one I got. Which one did I pull? Some bad boys here. Oh. Enclave soldier. Oh god. Come on, die. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of XP. Nice gun too. Oh god. It's so heavy. Okay. I'm gonna put you in this uh I'll put this guy in the mailbox. Yep, just randomly an enclave soldier that has no right being here. Take the beer. Leave the suit. <laughs> My charisma and agility. It's funny. I remember the cars blowing up way more in this one than in, uh, New Vegas. I thought this was, like, a tin of peep, uh, BB gun. BB, BB pellets? Bullets? BBs, I guess. You know, that's what the item in this game looks like. Like a circle. Uh, like, a tin of chewing tobacco. Tomacco. Mac DeMarco. This is not a landmark. Nope. It's an unmarked place, sure. Uh, I'm gonna start... I guess I should start some other quest lines. Just so I can have a place to safely store my junk. Because this is getting kind of ridiculous with how little uh, inventory space I'm getting. I know if I disarm the bomb, that gives me a house, or uh, I can I have an option to get the house by then, I think. And also it'll give me experience, which might let me uh, do the, the repair stuff quest. Explosives, oh god. Can't even do that quest then. My rad's at. Nah, not that bad, but I might as well take a rat away. Then we're gonna try 
uh, exchanging I'm items Doc with him. I'm Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, <laughs> don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. Damn near. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up. I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. Just fine. Okay. Uh, medical supplies. Planning on going out and getting shot up, eh? <laughs> I'm planning on shooting up. Um. Especially with these stim packs. Play the vine booms. I know they're coming. I'll just get rid of it. I don't really care. Sentimental value toward this, but... You know, I feel like I should sell all these items that are totally junk. Because if I really want these items, I can spawn them anytime. I have console commands. So, it's fine. We lose out on some of these items. Just getting annoying having to carry them everywhere. Like, some of these things I'll keep, like, at least one of, I guess. <laughs> Especially if they're full. But... I'm gonna, like, I should use those to repair. Or no, I'll, I'll sell the ones I'm wearing. Like, at least I'll have one of each. That's all that matters. Because then I can just, like... I'll just spawn another one if I really want one. I'll, re I'll repair those, too. Keep saying I will. <laughs> forgetting that I want to. Yes, I could sell the 10 caps worth of roll mat, roll mat meat. Mole rat meat. I can't, can't believe I do that, like, unintentionally so often. Like, I do it as a joke a bunch, too, but sometimes I really mix up the first letters. Is that a sign of uh, dementia? I think I've heard that before from unreputable sources. There's a neat word for that, though. I forgot what it was. Mole mat meat. <laughs> Tongue twisters for sure. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that leniency. Toward my uh, online diagnosis of dementia. <laughs> Except for now. Wow, that's funny. The items that I gave him are just evaporate evaporated because they're not like medical supplies. Didn't know that ha that's what happens in this game. Thought they still gave you the option to buy back, but no, not this guy. That's okay though. I didn't I'm not gonna buy that stuff back. Wasn't planning on doing that. It's really early on to have this weapon. I won't find many F uh, MF cells, I think. So it's heavy too. Not like a. There's a lot of reasons not to use it right now. It's too heavy for me, and I'm not using uh, laser weapon, energy weapons right now. God, I'm stacking up the stim packs, though. I'll sell the dirty water. Oh, if he was selling right away, I'd buy that. I like right away, having that on hand. Brute force some story stuff with right away. You're supposed to die from radiation or pass out from radiation. You can kind of just right away you yourself done? to help. Good. Need something to help me concentrate? Great. Oh. Another junkie. In case you haven't noticed, this is a clinic, not a candy <laughs> store. And I've got work to do. I wasn't even realizing it was. Uh. So you've got someone in town with a drug habit. Ooh. I'm afraid that goes against patient doctor oh, confidentiality. Oh, come on. You can tell me, Doc. <laughs> you can trust me, I'm a doctor myself. Hell yeah. All right. I suppose someone with medical training has As to myself. have at least a bit of compassion. And maybe you can talk some sense into Woo. the boy. Leo Stahl. That <gasps> boy got himself a problem with Jet. The guy I, I watched pee? in here two to three times trying to steal what I keep around for anesthetic. Yes. Not even his own family knows it. He goes up to the water treatment plant at night to get high. <laughs> I don't know. I can't reach him. 
Maybe you can. can tell me about this place. I have to say, of all the rat-infested hell holes that I've lived in, this one is the least hellish. Wow, and you live next to a radioactive bomb. That says a lot about the last places you've lived. What do you do around here? I wonder I'm what. Town doc. If it's cut, everyone's I talked it about up. you here. If it's infected, I cut it off. Oh, good to know. Had a time. Go yeah. now. Bye. I'm like a saint right now, right? And I don't mean my co-host on Squint. Yeah, I'm good. I'm a sentinel. So if that's the case. Oh. Tempted to steal a bunch of this junk. But also, can I, like... Now we don't even have a key. Not a good idea. <laughs> I do love when they catch you so instantly in this game. Fuck it. Oh, that's the sound effect for being evil in this game? It's different than Fallout New Vegas. Look, it's a victimless crime. Take the holotype. Nothing on there, it's broken. Scrap. <laughs> I'm so evil for taking scrap metal. I know you can see me. Yeah, I don't need that one potato chips. Crisps. See what the hollow tape said though. I'm still a sentinel, that's good. Doing lots of good deeds. I can give tons of water to Mickey outside and he'll make me a saint. Um notes. Let's read a few of these. Uh Point Lookout. Greetings from Point Lookout. Straight from the land of warm beaches and Lucius wet luscious oh my god. L luscious wetlands comes the Duchess Gambit, the finest vessel on the east coast, piloted by Tober the Ferryman and to the hungry masses of the capital wasteland. He brings the hearty uh, punga fruit, a delicious and nutritious addition to your daily meal. Its tangy taste is the most refreshing meal in the world. Excuse me. Um, find the punga fruit at your local merchant now, or buy straight from the source at the Duchess Gambit. Now docked south of uh, the citadel, the cap, yeah, the citadel. Uh, special bonus. Hey, adventurers, itching to find Point Lookout's treasures for yourself? Talk to Tobar to book passage back to this land of mystery. Dang, I love the DLCs in this game so much. Brian's special key. Brian Wilkes will give me a key to a special cache of items. It's located in a dump. Oh, he gave me it. In a dumpster behind the old diner in Great Ditch. Yep, I know where that is. That's the thing I <laughs> got Pog lucky on. Sanitizer instructions. Congratulations on your purchase of the taste, uh, tasty clean sanitizer. Another household health essential for from a broxidine chemical. That's the uh, a broxidine or a broxo or whatever. It's a uh, You'll see cleaner everywhere in this game. Just boxes of cleaner, and it's by that company. Use the Tasty Clean Sanitizer. Using your Tasty Clean Sanitizer is simple. Just carry the sanitizer with your food or beverages, and our patented Abraxo... Yeah, that's the company you'll... Or that's the cleaner you'll see a lot. Lux Bacto Score. Oh, okay. Bacto uh, Score. So Bacteria Scorch or whatever. A process will remove any trace bacteria before you even take your first bite or drink. Abraxo's dietary engineers have proven that using the Tasty Clean sanitizer unlocks additional nutritional health benefits. So enjoy your food again, free of filth and grime. And remember, Abraxo for all your cleaning needs. Warning, product is not a guarantee to sanitize all food and drink. Abraxodine is not responsible for any sickness, paralyzation, blindness, or death that may result from unauthorized use. Uh, warning, trustworthy surgeon. Hey, Doc. I'm only sharing oh, this wanting. with you because you seem like someone we can trust. Have you heard about the synthetic men they make up north in the Commonwealth? <gasps> the rumors are true. They're called androids. They're men like us, just made out of different parts. 
I know one of these androids. He's looking for a trustworthy doctor to perform some facial surgery. Can you do it? Ooh. Do you know someone who can? Also, do you know anyone who's really a whiz with computers? I do know how to whiz. Ooh, the replicant man. That's a fun way to start the mission. Taking that from his desk. It does sound like a solid product. I mean, I've seen more warnings on like depression medicine, so it's it's honestly like lacks on warnings. If we're being <laughs> real honest here. Oh, Leo, here's the one I have to talk to you about uh, drug use. Andy. Okay. This place has tons of beer everywhere. I haven't talked to you, Andy. Can a man eat in peace? You're the one Go I did talk, talk to. to. Jenny or I haven't. Hey, Leo was the one I didn't talk to. I think. Do I look like someone that wants to <laughs> what? Do I look like someone that you want to blow off? Okay, well that's a neat way of putting it. Okay, tough guy. Say what's on your mind. <laughs> okay, there Andy. Okay, I got to just muscle him and get nothing out of it. Great. There's Leo. Well, god damn. God damn. You're new, right? Name's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, 1950s man. Uh, who's in charge around here? Well, Moriarty thinks he is, but Lucas Sims is the law Sims. around here, and everyone knows it. Okay, daddy -o. What's on the menu? Hey. Sure thing, my man. Yep, more of the same. Uh, what do you do for fun around here? Oh, no. <laughs> well, there's this and that. I keep myself busy, but really, that's none of your business, is it? Good thing I don't know anything about that. What can you tell me about Megaton? What's to tell? How many times You're am I going to have to ask so this to people? we've got nothing to complain about, right? And hell, I've got a restaurant, so Ooh. I have it better than most. He's so clean cut. What's the road around town? Hey, I'm not much of a mudslinger. I don't like to spread stuff I'm around. I'm a gunslinger, you know though. What I mean? Yep, how? Everybody has their secrets. Let's keep them that way. Keep your secrets. No problem. Okay. I understand you have quite the chem habit. Oh, no. Let's say that after a, a save to be safe. Hey there, buddy. Good to... Aw, we're friends. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Who told you... I, I mean... <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Very subtle. It's okay, Leo. I want to help. What's it worth to you to keep it oh i'm not gonna no i want to bribe him help what's to help so i'm a junkie big fucking deal relatable it's not like i'm hurting <laughs> anyone you're hurting your family leo jenny and andy care about you should i <sighs> i let's do it fuck it I... yes i guess you're right I have to tell them about my problem, don't I? Yeah, it worked out. I convinced him. That'd be a good idea. I could tell them for you. I'll say, yeah, that'd be a good idea. I just don't know what to say. I've been stealing from both of them for years to oh. fix. Where do I even start? Well, I'll figure something out. Oh. Look. I want to thank you for your help. I helped so much by I saying like one thing. I stranger to show me what an ass I've been. Wow. Take this key. It's to my private stash in the water treatment plant. Dope. Just get rid of the stuff. Burn it, sell it. I don't care what happens to it. Oh, cool. You made the right choice, Leo. And Thanks. I got karma. It'll be hard. Ooh. So close I'll to leveling up. Best. <laughs> How's the addiction? It's <laughs> kicked the habit yet. Kick it yet? I mean, it just happened, but sure. Let's see how much progress has been in the last two seconds. Uh, oh, good. I just started, but so far, so good. That's good context aware stuff. Any. Okay. Oh, hello there. Oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> but the, the. Okay, the terminal is super easy, though. Why not? Board. Unlike my audience. Try the R. Or the... Okay, so it can't be darned.
Let's try cargo. Oh my god. I'm so clever. Oh, so I can do all these. Oh, I want to read those, but we leveled up. Go on to 25. Go on to 30. Very good, very good. So you're at 50, and uh, Black Picking's also at above 50. Uh, let's go to speech. Doing last speech checks. Ooh, lots of new things, because level- it's- it's like you get a ton of things every, like, uh, two levels. Is when you unlock the next, like, set of perks. So I'm finally, uh, at the next level- finally old enough. Finally at the next level so I can do this. Scoundrel. You can use your witty charms to influence people. Nope, not interested. Not interested. You do additional 50% damage any time you attack a mutate insect, like a rad roach, giant ant, or red scorpion. Pretty good. Um, is there a DLC that has a lot of bugs? I forget. Let me check. Let me think. Uh, it says mutated insects, which might be, I wish it was like Meyer Lurks. That'd be really good because I know that's all point lookout. The pit has like none. Zeta has like none. No, bugs aren't really the best potentially. I'm just thinking all the DLCs. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. They have, you have to do educated. Right. That's the one. Like, you need to take this the instant you get it. With the educated perk, you gain three more skill points every time you advance a level. This perk is best taken early on to maximize maximize its effectiveness. And then next, I'm going to probably do comprehensive. Gain one additional skill point whenever a skill book is read. Which I've been holding on to a ton of them because I want to wait for this perk. Child at heart. Get dialogue choices. looking if any of these are like nope none of them really new besides these two pretty much i mean every, all, a lot of these are new down here too it says four next to it it's new level four but these are the only ones that are really useful so yep educated nice oh i didn't mean to pickpocket you saving let's read a little on our friends that's on leo Ever since that stranger helped Leo out with his problem, he his counts have been coming up clean. I can't believe that he managed to hide his habit from me all this time. I guess we've grown apart over the last few years. That's something I'll have to work on. Aw, oh, on fixing. Cash notes. Leo's count came up short again this month. 124 caps this time. I have to, I'll have to keep an eye on him. He's either careless or a thief. Okay, these are definitely out of order. Or, I mean, <laughs> this happened since I got them off stuff. Inventory notes. We're coming up short a few things again. I can't explain it. We have enough liquor in the stills to supply us each month. But yet, we keep running short. Note to self, keep an eye on Leo between his and... Between this and his cash shortages. I'm starting to think that something is going on, Andy. Yep. Uh... Hell unlock the floor safe, why not? It's not like it's mean or evil to do that. Damn. Woo! That safe is so tiny. Why are you so small? I love stealing. Me and my friends have adopted a thing that came out of a party animals meme, pretty much. Uh, it's very way- very- I always have such fun, vague ways to start sentences. What I'm getting at is, a lot of my friends like to quote this one time when I said, I love cheating! <laughs> because in party animals, at the start of rounds, whenever you first start a round, but, like, not every round after that, it isn't a thing. But if you start the round, uh, you're able to do inputs before the countdown is, like, there's like a three, two, one countdown. You're able to like move around before that's even over. So that's kind of what it's in reference to when me and my friends reference I love cheating. 
it's it's me loving to cheat and party animals because <laughs> it's your choice to like move around in that in that first part but a lot of people just don't because it's really conveyed that you're not supposed to move around then it's just a non it's an ongoing glitch that's known about the game it's known in the game oh my god my voice I raid all these houses so many houses I want this to be my house someday I have enough to disarm the bomb and stuff now. Let's cheat. Not cheating, it's uh, stealing. Let's steal. Oh. Nice. Ooh, sword. And a teddy bear. Mind if I do. Did I steal that child's teddy bear? I am going to start a teddy bear collection. This game is really fun to start collections in. I want to collect teddy bears, and I want to collect uh, the empty Nuka-Cola trucks. I used to collect both of those when I was young, playing this game. I feel like a TF. I, I always feel like a Counter-Strike surfer when I'm doing jumps like this. And music sure would be nice right now. These are all things that I could steal, but it's like I'm only gonna steal stuff that I really care about, like the Nuka Cola trucks and cigarettes. Two things that matter in this world. I guess I'll take the darts, fuck it. How's my the disposition? Still good. See, I'm I'm a neck good, even though I'm stealing so much. Uh, sugar bombs. Thought there was a reason to take those. I'm curious. I'm going to quickly look it up. Only the essentials. <laughs> sugar bombs. Uh, I was going to say old school RuneScape because I play that and I look up so much. So I, my muscle memory is just type thing in game followed by OSRS. Stands for old school RuneScape, by the way. Mildly useful. They're rare. You can be traded with a ghoul to make Ultra Jet. But pay 15 bucks for each box you bring him. I never use Ultra Jet, but it's worth having a fun little source of caps that isn't tied to someone's uh, inventory stock. I need to keep a list of all the items that you can do quests like this for. That'd be fun. To have that readily available. Uh... I'm gonna, how do I easily look that up? Like, Fallout 3 Quest. Not Quest, but. I guess it's like. <laughs> Radiant Cell, I cell Items? I don't know. Radiant Quests? That's sure. Oh, Radiant Quest items. No. Um. Fall 3. <laughs> List of items to sell to NPCs. Yeah, what items are those that you can hold onto and sell to specific people? And you can sell scrap metal to the man with the water facility and books to the person at the library. Answer from GameFAX, hello. Ghoul for sugar bombs, blood quest, sell blood packs. <laughs> not too much details, not to spoil it. I haven't been there yet. Oh my god, it's people 
person who buys Chinese assault rifles. Go discover locations like Pip Boy, that's fun. Sell pre war books for 100 caps a pop at the Brotherhood, yeah. Okay, so I start collecting pre war books. Damn, these are 15 year old submissions. Power armor. Oh, good, someone made a nice little list on this 15 year old game facts. So real gamers doing real gamer stuff. There's a new quantum nuka colas I need to keep holding on to. Damn, trying to do random things for nuka colas at little camp light. This is fun. This game is fun. F U N. Fun. Hey Squint, what's that thing you do when you talk? What what is that? What what, what do you call that? <laughs> um, I have no defense. No defense against these allegations. I do say things. It's pretty unfortunate. Common house. That's where all like the extra NPCs sleep. Oh, I can start repairing shit. Fix. Yep. <laughs> the electric chair. <laughs> sorry, sorry, judge. I have no defense. I guess that's a fair ruling. Electric chair sounds like it's it's the right call. This pipe is so bullshit where it's located. You gotta go looking for it. Pipe appears to be damaged. But the source of the leak isn't immediately clear. It'll take a master plumber to fix it. Repair 30. <laughs> Sounds masterful. Like Master Shake. Shake Sula, the Mike Rula, the old Skula. Ramen! Yep, attempt to fix. Arrgh! <laughs> it's a good cow sound. Hey Lucas, I'm gonna never mind, I'm not gonna steal things in your house. Not while you're looking at least. Who's looking at me? Who's detecting me? I wish not to be perceived, please. To fear to be fair, my stealth is really bad right now. It's like someone up here. There's like an inaccessible catwalk up here that you can't get to unless you console command and they're like looking down at you all the time. Oh, there's that guy right up there, I see. Let's wait like one hour. Still looking here, he knows what I'm doing. Okay, that's better. I give up. Got reports of that guy about the plumbing. No risk. What do you need? Pipes all fixed. Well, I'll be. The pressure's up in the plant. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Woo. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. Thank but you. Listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. And someone like you might not be around to fix them. I'll make that you a That man deal. has needs. I'll give you caps for any scrap metal you can bring me. You'll find it all over the place out Hell there yeah. in the waste. If I have a steady supply of scrap, I can keep Crap. the plant running and the pipe should be just fine. We got a deal? Not your errand boy. Sounds good to me. I'll bring you the parts I find. Good. I'm this a good just boy. Keeps looking better. Those parts oh, will nice. keep this 200. place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. I'm yeah. back. What is it? I shouldn't buy some scrap. I sure am, Sonny. Take all the scrap I have. In the future, maybe I'll give it to him for karma because you can choose this option and he'll just 
give you a karma dump. But I think I, money is like <laughs> important early on. I know that's that's a controversial opinion, but well, all right. Let me oh, count out your cap. He gave me ten per. Okay. So we're around sure, you got the purifier working right again. But if it runs out of water to pump, then we're still <laughs> Yeah, I'm, that's that's kind of what you need for a water purifier, huh? You need water to purify. Still haven't talked to Moriarty. What's the is this like a medium requirement? This uh there's like a weapon cash place here. The armory. The Amorous Sea. Oh, this is the Church of Adam. Armory's up here. It's quick save for fun. That's what we do here for fun. Quick save. Very hard. Never mind. There's like a robot pointed at you in there. The moment you open it, there's like a gun on you. I don't know why I'm getting irradiated. Let it serve as a reminder of the Let's talk to him. Who have we here? Could it be a new addition to our humble little community? I know he's kind of graying, but child, this voice sounds welcome. Welcome to Megaton. like you're yawning, Squint. His voice sounds a lot Confessor older Godwell, than this guy looks. Prophet of Atom and father of the undying glow. Please, child, come to the church anytime, anytime at all. I don't know. He's standing in a puddle of radiated, irradiated water. What am I saying? I mean, <laughs> whatever is happening to this guy isn't what it should be. So that that kind of works in its favor. <laughs> Tell me about the Church of Adam. Yes. What would you like to know? Uh, how much are your classes at the Church of Adam? And will you background check my whole entire family's history? Uh, what do you believe? <laughs> The Church of the Children of Atom is based on the idea that each single atomic mass in all of creation contains within it an entire universe. When that atomic mass is split, I've seen a single Men in Black. universe divides and becomes two, thus signifying the single greatest act of Atom's creation. If you creation, can put a whole universe inside of a kitten's like collar, a divine event occurs. You can and definitely put a whole universe in an atom. Trillions of new universes are created. The wow. last such event took place here 200 years ago, where most of the lost children of Atom see that event as simple war and devastation. We see creation and devastation in Atom's No breathing. Glow. Okay, they say I'm illuminated. Oh. Why do you worship a bomb? Those who were called to Atom during the Great Division were very fortunate. The Great Schism, one might they say. They were permitted to aid in the process of Adam's creation. We seek the same, both in symbol and in fact. And the bomb, as you call it, represents <laughs> Adam's capacity for creation. I mean, we water pipe. We kneel before it and ask that Adam call us to aid him. We pray that out of our meager bodies, he will create new life. What the hell is wrong with you people? <laughs> Even knowing the truth, you continue to mock us. How very, very sad. <laughs> Pitiful and weak. As you L wish. plus ratio, mind you. Oh my god, I can give them money to support this bullshit. <laughs> Why, yes, we do. Forgot about that. How much would you like to How donate? much? A pamphlet. I Changed my mind. Very <laughs> Okay, he's, he's humble about it. That's fine. Okay. Uh, Confessor. Have you ever traveled outside Megaton? In my youth, I traveled quite a bit. But that was a different life. I assume that you are seeking information and advice, yes? You know it. The only advice that I can offer is this. You will find no wealth in the wasteland greater than that which you will find within yourself. <laughs> wink, Bask wink, nudge, nudge. Atoms glow, and you will understand. 
I got the innuendo. I know what's inside me. Uh, would you like to know what's inside me, Confessor? Uh, what can I, what can you tell me about Megaton? Megaton, Atom's sacred village. He has chosen this place for the site of his shrine, and we have been called. Outsiders ask us, why did you build a town around a bomb? To them I say, the bomb brings the promise of division. <gasps> and they the predicted the division. Go. The Divinity. The bomb is us. The bomb is Atom. And thus, we are Atom. Awaiting the day in which the each of us gives game, birth right? to a trillion new lives. That's the joke. <laughs> uh, what's the news? News? My friend, I take effort not to be involved in such worldly business. Earthly pursuits. Oh man, he's essentially a boomer. Atom. Of course. Now that you mentioned it, I've noticed that Moira has oh. hired a mercenary to protect her goods. The man never sleeps. <laughs> So they say. Is he a, oh is he technically is he an android? I wonder. That's a good uh it's a good path I've never considered. Some directions around town. We our own way. We are all lo I I'll exhaust these options just to hear his opinion. Dumbasses. Uh Atom can the only heal the wounds of the soul. For wounds of the body, you should see <laughs> His clinic is directly to the north of the church. At least he's not lying about that. He doesn't think the bomb is healing them. Because it definitely isn't. Uh, weapons dealer. It saddens me to think how quickly <laughs> we resort to violence. Okay. Need some equipment. General store? Seek out Moira at Craterside Supply. Nice. Although the true pilgrim relies on Atom to supply all that he needs. Oh, okay. Well, he, he kind of contradicted himself earlier. Uh, okay. The Atom can't provide medical help, at least, I guess. Megaton Cult Pamphlet. Lost Children of the Waste, rejoice. Adam presents to you a chance to redemption. The Church of the Children of Adam offers you a chance to participate in the keeping of Adam's sacred city of Megaton. We accept currency, which shall be used to keep this holy place as pure as as pure and safe as safe as possible rays shine upon wayward children of the wastes professor com well cromwell crom let's uh let's see what's inside this place i don't think i'll find much good things in here i remember having a shootout in here when i was a lot younger <laughs> Just for fun. Back when I was like dicking around with the game. Kind of want the stuff in that refrigerator, but not that badly. Oh, there's I think something on the pulpit that I can take. Metro ticket. Fuck. Don't look at me. No, you're gonna sit down and look at me. It Come on, get out of your cone. Fuck it. It's like stuff that's worth no money, essentially. Cherry bomb. Take all that. Tickle all that. One dart. Hell yeah. Lose karma for that. Here. I've always been curious how the karma is calculated. Like, if it's calculated uh, by value or by, by like, uh, like quantity. Like it, for every like, like let's say if there's like eleven ammo, that's like eleven units of, of uh, of like karma negativity. But if you steal something that's like let's say tw that's worth twelve caps, is that twelve units of karma negativity or just one? Because it's one item. I wonder. Uh, start with Warrens. Oh my god, that's like most of them. Uh, Root. Wares is pretty close. It's Wares. Yep. Sweet! Uh, 
Welcome, Confessor. May we may you walk in the glow. Capital G. Adam's Nucleus. People often innocently ask me, Confessor, why do you worship a bomb? Like the like curious children, they come to me with questions about the most visible and perhaps controversial aspect of our faith. The innocent among us hear my sermons sermons. Siemens. Before <laughs> The great symbol. Uh, the see us bathe. The see us bathe. In the waters. It's they, I'm sure. And they wonder if it is danger we seek. A suicide pack, perhaps. And while you may be tempted to answer their curiosity with anger. Unalive. That's the phrase everyone uses instead of that word. Not a live pack. Let's let's go with that from now on if we can. <laughs> I think that might be like picked up by the automation by now because everyone uses that term. Uh, you may be tempted to answer their curiosity with anger, my gentle children of Adam. You must never do so. The core of Adam's philosophy teaches us peace. Ironically, uh, that we must educate the curious and work toward. Alle alleviating their ignorance that we must teach them to accept the glory of the division of the past and uh, to seek the glory of the division that is to come teach them my children teach them how the miserable rotten meat of their bodies will be will give birth to countless lives at the time of division Teach them that they should not mourn the world that has passed, but praise and celebrate those that have already been divided. <laughs> I can't wait to be divided someday. Divide me in half, please. Uh, teach them <laughs> uh, uh, the blessing, the glory, and the peace of our communion, and the satisfaction that can be found in our blessed work. Teach them, my children, teach them well, and in this teaching, find your peace and your place. This is the core of Adam's message to us. Spread, grow, communicate. I, this is so like getting to the word count of an essay. I, I've written this before. Go in peace, <laughs> my precious children, walk in Adam's glow. Like this guy, this guy's a fluff writer for sure. This guy's done some fluffing. Uh, treaties on Adam's second coming. What is Adam? Adam is light, power. Adam is change. Adam is the cleansing that brings order to a chaos. Adam is purity, peace, hope. Okay. That was a light read. I, I enjoyed the double spacing. That's You get points for me. Uh, bringing about the division. Oh, God. <laughs> Will he be happy if I blow up the bomb? I'm sure he would be. I often ask myself if the time is right for the second division here in adam's blessing blessed village we are truly are we truly ready for his coming have i properly prepared my people for the moment in which his great altar cracks open and reveals to us his glory i am but a man who <laughs> what is it what is a man a miserable pile of uh i am but a man who am I to bring these people to glory? Who am I to seek to cause the division? Okay. Wow, we learned a lot. And boy, am I parched. Wow, my lips. My neck and my back. the game you need cameras for was, uh, there was that list earlier i think this game is where you need cameras game facts stop don't no you're giving me a spanish <laughs> they gave me a spanish ad for the metaverse i'm pretty certain cameras
Which small three items are sought after by... Yep, cameras. Came up. Finally found it. Blood packs, cameras, fire ant nectar. Brotherhood of Steel holotags. Nuka-Cola Quantum, pre-war books, scrap metal, sensor modules, sheet music, sugar bombs. Bots can be converted into stim packs slash ammunition. Scrap metal. There's like a lot of things people keep forgetting to add into this somewhat complete list. There's another place you can exchange scrap metal for, like, stim packs or Radaways or Radex. God damn. God damn. Minus three. I wonder what you're minus three Jesus. <laughs> There's so much you can minus three in my streams. <laughs> you've been you've been having to ellipses a lot tonight, I've noticed. Ooh. I'm sure me and Santa are gonna talk about movies tomorrow. No spoiler. That whisper. <laughs> Thank you. Glad you're appreciating my dumbass streams. My, uh, my exercises in, uh, improv. After that. Uh. By the way, if there is things you want to, like, clip on my streams i definitely encourage that i uh if your stream gets if your clip gets like a lot of views it'll appear on my on my main page at the bottom uh on my home page on youtube uh saint or this one mysterious user named shmaint did a clip of my first fallout stream where i <laughs> i was typing in names and they thought they thought a thing i did was pretty silly I think it's called, like, Squint Being Careful or something. That's the name of the clip. You know, yeah. It's kind of fun. You can just see your clip get, uh, popular. Oh, this stuff isn't stealing, technically. I don't even have to hide. <laughs> this common house, anything is for anyone. Sugar bombs. Have I been that good of a boy in Megaton? Is that why they're letting me steal, or... Is that why they're letting me smash? <laughs> You've been a good boy. You've been a good... guy. You've been a good bird. Was that cute video of the birds? I'm sure it's less funny now to me, but it was... It was very funny back in the day, the Lemmy Smash birds. It's like Becky Lemmy Smash. <laughs> he wants to give her blue. I, I love birds, by the way. I think they're all very funny and silly, and they have like such foreign ways of like acting compared to us mammals. But they get it done, and they fill so many weird little niches. What's the one line? <laughs> Oh, or yellow, yeah. Yeah, that's- it's cute. A bird's just collecting different objects and there's this one video that's dubbed over of this bird just trying to impress this other bird by showing it different colored objects it's collected. Oh. Tamper with that and we're going to have a problem. Oh, hi there. Well, hey there, stranger. I'm Nathan. The old coot. The old coot wandering around here is my husband, Nathan. If there's anything we can help you with, ask I learned. Me. Don't ask Nathan. He'll just blabber at you about the damned enclave oh. all day. I found one of them and killed them the other day. Um. 
I learned that coot, it might not be short for cooter, but apparently that's a name. You can be named cooter, C-O-O-T-E-R. Um, I don't know, how, like it's an older name now, I, I bet, because, you know, of course, it has a connotation, but uh, we've been, me and a group of friends have been watching True Blood every so often, once, like once a week or whenever uh, possible. Uh, like we might skip a week or whatever, but, um, and we came across a character who was le legit named Cooter, and one of my friends was like, yeah, I mean, that's, there's, unfortunately, that's still a thing people could be named. Uh, I had some questions about this town's history. I can tell you just about anything you want to know, honey. Megaton's history ain't no secret. Ain't no secret. What? what? Uh, what's this? What's this place made of? <laughs> Long ago, before the war, there used to be machines. They were like buses, but they flew through the sky, taking oh. people anywhere they wanted to go. I've been in those a couple you times. You didn't have to walk. You just went to the air station, bought a ticket, and took to the sky. The aero station. Anywhere in the world, you just up and flew there. When it's the pretty magical. Happened, the machines started dropping from the sky. Everyone around here thinks that the bomb made the crater, but it didn't. The crater oh. provided good cover from the dust storms. And when my daddy and the rest of the town decided to build the walls, they used what they had. I guess that makes sense. Her daddy, and she's old now. It's been about 200 years. That's kind of two generations. Even though it's more like... Like three or four. Because, like, usually the next generation is being made, like, 50 years into the current one. If we want to be generous... Say it's someone <laughs> has a child in their fifties. Um. So why didn't they move the bomb? Some of us wanted to, but the church at oh, the bottom was just getting its start. Then. <laughs> it's their fault. Their help to build the walls oh. and clear the wreckage. That's interesting. If we'd have tried to move the bomb, they would have refused to help. <laughs> it was Besides, a bargaining chip. A lot of people just wanted to leave it alone. It didn't seem to be hurting anything, hmm. and who knows what would happen if we messed with it. Wow. A lot of parts here for just one machine? Uh, from just one machine? What? Good eye. You're right, honey. There are. There was an air station a couple of miles from here. It had been stripped of everything except the planes. Hmm. My daddy got a bunch of people together to go out there, break apart the machines, and drag back what we could use. It took him a couple of months. You can't even tell where the air station was anymore. The wasteland hmm. just took it back. <laughs> there are a lot of parts here for just one machine. Okay, I understand now. Uh, why build the walls out of some old flying machine? It's a hell of a lot easier than trying to find enough parts to build walls and houses from nothing. <laughs> it's if true. If crap was there, why not use it? Besides, the lumber yards it's sturdy. Apocalypse. It keeps the raiders and the dust storms out. Not all of us had the luck to be born in a vault, you I'm know. I'm such a reaction streamer. I'll watch, I'll listen to people say things and be so like, haha, me too. Uh, I had another question about Megaton. Sure thing, honey. How did this town start? Well, originally, it started as a hole in the ground. My pappy talked about how pappy. his father and the original settlers just hid in this crater. It was enough to keep them safe from the dust storms. When things cooled down and people started wandering into the wastes, some stayed behind. The wanderers started coming back here to trade their stuff. By the time my pappy was born, the town was a full-on trading center. Pappy got rich on the caravan routes and eventually convinced the others to build the walls to hold off the raiders. Wow. Caravans and raiders. Sounds like the Oregon Trail. Uh, why did they build the walls? Well, the raiders, for one. Once the they always put so much respect up, on raiders with the capital. Until the traders and their guards were away. They'd come in and clean us out. Now, the super mutants. They were a whole other breed of problem. They'd kill us if they had to, but mostly they tried to drag people away. Alive! So, oh God. eventually, my father did something about it. Him and a few others organized the traders and the citizens and built the walls. Traitor. So we're pretty safe now. 
Still, I wish those Brotherhood of Steel fellers hadn't hit on such <laughs> hard times. They really help keep the wolves at bay. So it was just a collection of traitors in the beginning? Not at first. It was a collection of people trying to get into the vault. Oh. People worshipping the bomb and a few other refugees. Then the traitors came. Now the caravans take care of most of the trading, but before they were set up, it was all Megaton. Wow. I worked on the caravans Sounds like an, with my father for a like while. An RTS game, That's setting up trade routes. That's how I met that routes. worthless bag of liver spots I call a husband. <laughs> so anyone can live in Megaton? No, space is limited these days. You see all of these people wandering around here? Oh. They live up in the common house and I never really exhausted citizens. her dialogue and learned about this place much. Most people around here keep one eye open. So I'm finding it so streams, fascinating. But me, I can spot a raider spy at a hundred <laughs> meters. Spy. I'm not worried about it at all. But if having meetings and pretending to vote on things makes the others feel safer, <laughs> so be it. The monster, the, wow, what a what a his what a lesson in democracy, huh? I literally said history because the word lesson was there, so... Uh, it's not fun, the history lesson. You say so, honey. How'd you get here? I was born here, actually. Just like my pappy. Oh, okay. Oh, for a while I helped him scavenge and then later on his caravan. It kind of adds up with the, the time frame I was saying. The wasteland is work for young people. After I met Nathan, I just wanted to stop moving around so much. We've been here ever since... Of course, I can't say that it's been good for Nathan's sanity. Nathaniel. Where did everyone else come from? Oh, they come from all over. All over. You name it. The Stahl family grew to up out that, east so. somewhere. Lucy's from some little settlement to the north. Billy doesn't really talk about Just, where I guess I'm getting from. tired with the big 3 a.m. Church used to live in Rivet City. Ooh. Jericho. Well, let's just say that men can change. I hope. Hmm. It's in charge around here. Well, technically, no one. But you can't put two people in a room together without one of them trying to govern the other. Hmm. But it depends on who you ask. Lucas Sims appointed himself the sheriff. He throws anyone out who causes too much trouble. But Colin Moriarty runs Still just haven't talked to him, yeah. everything else. Not much happens here that he doesn't know about or plan. Tell me about uh, Mor Colin Moriarty. That man is the scum of the earth. <laughs> he keeps He's the, the salt of the earth. Here soaking in liquor, and that poor Nova. That yeah, it's getting late. Better. Thanks for hanging out, and Scruffy. It's lots of fun. How he treats Gob. I will have a good rest. Just night, night. The boy looks dead. Doesn't mean that he should be treated like that. That man has his fingers end this in pretty everything soon. around here. Just watch what you say about him. It'll always get back. Now, I, we all know I was paying attention, but just for clarity, I'm going to quickly... That man is the scum of the earth. Liv he liquor, keeps Nova. Them, yep. And don't even get me started on how he treats Oh, poor Gob. Right, I remember him. Just because the... That man has his fingers in everything around... Oh, my. And Lucas? That man tries to bring that man to this place. Lost cause, if you ask me. But I respect his trying. He does seem to keep people in line, though. Other than that weird cowboy thing of his, <laughs> I don't have much to. All Get right, the picture. Then. Yep. Anything else? Don't want to talk about Megaton anymore. Well, you come on back. So we're around town. There's Everyone, only one thing I gossip so much. This town these days. <laughs> what my damn fool husband is doing. He wanders around here all day and all night, preaching about the Enclave and trying to get parts for his guns. I'm not sure who's the bigger fool, him or me. After all, I married him. Uh oh. Come back if you need something, honey. Like, looks like it got later out. Because it did, but supposedly not during our uh, conversation. Time freezes, so. Couldn't have been then. There he is. Now, this is a place you should save. Now, this is a... There we go. Colin Moriarty. Always pleased to see a new face. But I'm afraid you've had the misfortune to catch me, well, out of me element. Yeah. I'm the owner and proprietor of Moriarty's... You're right in front of it. The saloon? But please, 
See for yourself. Come by for a drink or twelve. Hmm. You and I, oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. Hold fast. Uh, sure. I mean, I haven't... <laughs> I haven't experienced it yet, but... What's all this about Galaxy News Radio? Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins. Excuse of me, it's Three Dog. Three Dog. Yes. The king of that loony bin keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know we'll what was going on in the, the wasteland, good that's fight. the place to go. Me, I could care less. Oh, that's a. That's a Shig Shigahara. That's a, what I just referenced. We'll fight the good fight. It's. It's the uh, person who made the uh, To the Moon, and she also made um, the soundtrack for Plants vs. Zombies. She has a, a song that was like featured in some sort of Minecraft thing. I think it was like Minecraft Adventures credits. And uh, <laughs> we'll fight the good fight. It's it's like she's doing a uh, like a fugue with herself, and uh, that's like a, a chorus part. After the fugue part, she's like just repeating over the lyrics in a cool way. She, she ah, what's her name? I'm gonna give her proper credit. I love her music. Uh, yeah, Laura, Laura Shigahara. She's so cool. I love her music. It's all so fun. It's, it's the lady who made Loon Boom. Loon Boon. But up, but up, but up, but up. But up, but up, but up, but up, da 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 Know anything about the area outside Megaton? Sorry for Delta Room spoilers. Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lad. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? Okay, this guy is really helpful. You can tell me about Megaton. Stay the fuck out of me business. <laughs> don't go where you don't belong and buy your drinks here. Okay. That's all you need to know. Cool. What do you do around town? I keep these yokels knee deep in booze and poon. They keep me knee deep in caps. <laughs> it's a fair trade if you ask me. Jeez. What's the word? I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So I'll give you this one for Ooh. free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing? She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. Hmm. Feel the fear. Feel fear. Uh, looking for my father, a middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. My God, it's you. Oh. A little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time. It's a big kid. story quest. Oh, your daddy passed through here, all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Huh, my father and I were born in Vault 101. Is that what your father told you? He very that explicitly you were told born me that. that hole. That he was born there as well. Oh my gosh. Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. He's been lying. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon after all. Aw. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood of steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Oh. Sorry about your mom. Truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. <laughs> and now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Damn, harsh. Oh, I, I wasn't born in the vault? It's complete bullshit, and you know it. Uh, my dad told me we were born in Vault 101. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. Hmm. From some other fella. Escaped. Oh, Five years back. Damn, people periodically oh, leave there. Hail the overseer. We're born in the vault. We die in the yeah. vault. And all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You best wise up quick. Damn. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you. Hmm? <laughs> Speaking of which. 
Sure, let's do this. Uh, no, I want to... Well, okay, I'll, I'll fucking roll the dice, but... I would prefer doing the little quest where you talk to the lady outside of town. Uh, I was kidding. Dad talked to about you all... Dad talked about you all time. I was kidding. Dad talked about you all time. <laughs> all the time, I suppose. Now, really, where is he? Lie. You Fuck. seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And Fuck. yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information. And information is a commodity. And he owns like my ass. Commodity, it must be sold at a reasonable market price. So, what's reasonable? Let's say... Oh, 100 caps, and daddy's location's yours. Let's say I don't have 100 caps. All right, kid. Let me help you out. You know, for all time's sake. If you don't have the caps to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Sure, sure. So you want me to do your dirty work? Who said anything about dirty work? You need some caps, and I'm giving you a way to get them. It's dirty. just business. This junky bitch named Silver oh my God. a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so yeah. she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me, and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> Goddamn. Okay, fine. Don't let me keep you. Oh, God, him. He beckons. Yeah, you need Every something? Sure, Co. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. <laughs> Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. This animation. Got something that... on your mind? Damn it. Work. Let's, uh, let's talk to you, Nova. Hey there. Hey there. Think for my father, middle-aged man. Maybe you've seen him. Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. Hmm. <laughs> Lady Killer, look, sweetie, I'd love to spend time with you, but I need to find my dad. Talked to him already, already, and he's trying to change, charge me for information. <laughs> yeah, that's Colin's style, all right. He sells information so much, you'd think the bar was just a hobby. Hmm. <laughs> What's the story with the ghoul? With that ghoul? Who, Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks. He's a sweetheart. He's a sweetie. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. Where'd he come from? Where'd he we go? don't talk about it much, but apparently there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in D.C. Ooh. He's mentioned his mother a couple of times, but other than that, he won't really say. He's been here for, oh, I guess about 15 years now. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. Damn. The locations and fought... Three are really interesting. I'm trying, like, I really like both games, and I tend to lean toward New Vegas, but I have such a sweet spot for Fallout 3. The locations are so interesting. Like, the town she was mentioning where all the ghouls are, I am I have a very fondness for that uh, building. It's, it's just so cool. Everything about this game is really neat. A lot of it's really neat. <laughs> a lot of it's also kind of sucky. Do you ever, you know, work with him? <laughs> With Gob? <laughs> well, he's sweet, and, and I know that he'd that. like to. It's just, well, I don't want to sound shallow or anything. I mean, I'm a whore. My standards aren't exactly high. But there are places Epic. even I won't go. Johnny's that are squishier than me are one of them. Oh. Why is Moriarty so hard on him? Well, the miserable bastard is hard on all of us. Oh. But Gob gets it the worst. Oh. I guess Moriarty just because is. he's different, you know? But it was, I thought she was calling Gob that for some reason. Uh, let's talk about something else. Sure thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? How much for a room? Well, for you, a room and Damn. some company will run you 120 caps. Up front. Oh, thanks. Okay. <laughs> just wanted to know the rates, I guess. So what does it take to hire you? It takes you renting a room. Sleeping it or don't. I don't care. I get paid either way. Wow. Uh, what were you saying about that? Uh, about radio stations? Huh? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? Well, out there in the wastes, there are two stations that broadcast. There's the Enclave station. 
I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. <laughs> and That's there's Galaxy theory. News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C. But the signal went down a while ago. No! What's all this about Galaxy News Radio? You serious? Oh, you must have come from that vault, right. It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like Tree the only dog. person who seems to give a shit. Hmm. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. Where'd you go now? Take care. Come on, work. You Come just on. leave that fucking thing no. alone, gob. No, work. Remember someone God mentioning Jericho that. earlier? The last time I heard the word Jericho was from... From, uh... Mr. Moriarty. Hey. Yeah, Come here. yeah. I want to talk Don't to even you. think of breaking into that. I'll help you if I can. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. What do you need? Oh, look. Another one of you Last time I heard Jericho assholes. was from, uh... Okay, Detroit asshole. Become Human. I don't like you. Stay clear of me. That's the name of the place. No trouble. It's like a safe haven for, uh, androids. <laughs> so when I hear Jericho, I'm just thinking of David Cage. L lovingly, of course. You don't like you belong here. What's your story? There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. But I put all that behind me. Bastard. Ever considered getting back out there? What? Back out where? Out of there in the way. Out there in the wastes, man. You must be bored to tears in this town. I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that I've done like half of those in this town. Yeah, there's three options. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, I do miss it. It's sometimes. like you're an adventurer. It's a life of freedom, you know? But come on, I'm a washed up old raider. <laughs> what crew is going to take me on? These kids don't know nothing about respect. Hey, I don't, don't get no, no respect around here. You come with me, I could use a hand. No offense, kid. But you're not exactly the uh, type not, I used to run it. My karma's too good. I've heard about you. Yeah, goody two shoes. A little goody two shoes out of the vault. I don't think our styles would really mesh. Our styles. Nah, it ain't so bad here. I got some good memories, but that's all I got. No sense in ruining the good ones, you know? <laughs> karma's too high to acquire this follower. What do you know about the wasteland? None of your fucking business. Cool. Oh. I'll do the unarmed this time. Whatever your problem is, I suggest you get over it now. You're joking, right? I mean, I shit bigger than you, kid. Come back when you got some fight in you. Until then, save your threats. Damn. Okay, let's do this one. Fuck! Heh. Never mind. God damn. None of you. Damn, if I have higher unarmed, maybe I can do stuff with him. But if I failed that check and I just can't do it anymore, that's fine too. It's not the biggest deal. Unless it is. Let's look up Jericho. Uh, call you a pampered vault asshole if you're wearing the vault 101 jumpsuit Pearson fought shelter. Also, he's 65 years old. 
Okay. Just wanted to see if there was like a quest you could do if I had uh, done those speech checks, but I don't know. It's fine. Uh, what do you do around here? Me? I don't do a damn thing. Well, unless you count staying pissed drunk and making Moriarty rich or something. Sure, I'm the best shot in town with the rifle. How does he make so her? Oh, when comes running to old Jericho Eyes when the raiders show up. But between raids, they're content to take my money and drag me home when I've had too much. <laughs> <laughs> so around town, a little drinking money might loosen my lips a bit. Oh sure, give it a try. Uh, go for the top shelf on me. Whoa, twenty caps. Look at the big spender. All right, then. I can see you're in it for the big money. So I'll tell you all about Moriarty. Ooh. Moriarty. He's a rat fuck bastard for sure. But he's also paranoid, paranoid as all hell. So paranoid that he don't let no one handle the cash around here. Every night he takes what Gob and Nova earn and locks it in a file Ooh. cabinet next to his bed. Good to know. So where's the key? It's dangling around Colin's neck. Get it. If you can. Damn. I haven't you robbed him. <laughs> My robbing days are over, kid. I'm just here to drink and stink. Well, thanks for the... Thanks for stinking. Sounds risky. What if he catches me? He'll probably blow your head off. That is, unless you can draw faster than a pissed off Irish. <laughs> Jeez. Thanks for the info, Jericho. Anytime. It'll be worth it to see the look on that ass. <laughs> fate. Worth it. So we're on town. Remember what I told you, kid. Okay. Come back. Looking spree. Gotta talk to him yeah. and to Gob. This better be in Parkland. I'm a busy man. No, this isn't where he sleeps. What's the matter? Never seen a ghoul before. Not talk to problem. Gob in a sec. Good to see you. See if I can get into Moriarty's. Not a cabinet, the same as place. <laughs> no! Oh, it's hard. Whatever. Lots of... That's a quotable quote. Of course not. Who would do that for lockpicking experience? Not me. It's just like the room you get into if you uh pay for a night. It says my bet on it. Sure, why not? Hey. Yes. You making a move, huh? Okay. I have a lot of dialogue with Gob, and I think we're. We're pretty done, but I oh, but there's this terminal I can read. Uh, Not so close. Keep... Open this. Probably alcohol in it. Oh, it's his password. That's nice. Oh my God, I almost pressed the quick load button. Wow. Oh my me. Reach over you. Oh God. Repellent. Ugh. It's a lot, a lot longer words here. Uh, recognize. Hiring. I am way, it's way too late for me to do these. Oh God. I'm sure some wizard out there is going to be like, squint, obviously this is the answer. You dingle nut. Fuck. I think automatically... It does. In this game, there's no, like, reset time. In this case, I might actually just get the password from the cabinet. Oh, God. Virtually. Requiring. Okay, so it's ink, probably. Recording. Uh...
Oh gosh, I'm gonna be thinking about this internally for a while. Uh, regulating is really close, right? Re regarding. Uh, but that's not that's not six letters, is it? Re. Guard. Choir. So it's not regarding, but it's probably receiving. Ugh. Damn it. Is there any hacks? Come on, please replenish. Yes! Oh, we're still in. So, returning. Probably not. Remaining. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm crying. Uh, uh. What is the phrase of the month? When the chips are down, it means the Brahmin is empty. Oh. It's like, like, Bull chips, like buffalo chips, I get it. Wow. Very motivational. Uh, residence. Jericho. Jericho's been a bad boy. Okay. I'll have a lot of fun reading all these sometime soon. <laughs> 32 caps, deadbeat bastard. <laughs> okay. Visitors. Oh, cool. Hmm. Kind of want to do that quest, which sucks. Shouldn't have done this. Can I... Uh, I think I'm going to reload, if I'm being honest. It was a fun little action, but... The quick load, that's the auto. I'm curious if I go to that lady, can I still play out the thing? But I think I'm just gonna oh Oh. So what is it now? Very easy, that's nice. How about I'll be back? I'm gonna just go See if I can still interact with her, and if I can't, I might reload. I know where she is. She's in this house right here. It's the iDroid. iDroid? I forgot those are called iBots. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? Yeah, okay, we can still do this option. That's nice. I feel a lot- I feel less, uh, torn up about it, I guess. Yes, and he- he says you owe him some caps. That bastard! He's a- he's a liar! He just wants me dead. Those caps are all mine! I earned them! Just like how I earned that- that, uh, computer check. Look, you just give me the caps and I'll tell him you're gone. Look, Fuck. I don't know who you are. I'm not just handing over my life's earnings to you. Look, just give me some of your caps and I'll tell him you're gone. You do that for me? I never expected anyone to care enough. Cool. Here you go. Thanks, kid. You're all right. Free cap injection. Oh, 300! Whoo! Not bad. Now it's time to steal. What about the slavers of Paradise what? Falls? The frighteningly irradiating ghouls of Underworld. And last but not least... I'm gonna turn this off. Come on, there's no way you can detect me. You're asleep. You're sleeping! Fine. It's not that big a deal that I can't collect one camera and some cigarettes. Not a big deal. Just looking. 
Don't need to steal every single thing in this game. Whoa. Yeah, there's nothing here that's too good. Besides you. Is there a dead body underneath her bed? I'll just... Oh, that's just her shadow. Okay. Oh, whoa. Hey, hold on now. No, I can't pick these up. Whatever. Oh. Now I can do the classic thing of, like, moving it over. Whoa. It's like an object that's in the way here. Like, grinding up against it. Like the chandelier, maybe? It feels like it's the, the tip point of the chandelier. Yeah, that makes sense, because my model is bumping into it when it's uncrouched. Uh, is there any, like, safe here, too? Nah. Taking the scrap bomb here. <laughs> Okay, well, that was cool. Still able to do that mission. Evening. Evening. Okay. I want to read all that junk, but I think I'll do that next time. We're all still and I'm getting really tired. It's really late here, actually. So, I'm going to just set myself up in Moriarty's bar. Hi, Jericho. So I can just wake up, or wake up, so I can play the game next time and just be ready to finish some dialogue. Dang, she gave me a lot of caps. Do you have any scrap metal for me? I do, actually. Problem? Yeah. What is it? Uh, scrap metal. For no charge. Are you serious? Oh. Why? A very late little raccoon. Casual five, four point five hour stream. This means to Megaton. Hello there. I'm actually gonna be heading off really soon, so you caught me right at the end. Uh, what do you do around here? I take care of the water purification plant. That old. Oh, I already said that. I thought that was highlighted. Yeah. I'm <laughs> This is a really long stream, huh? I've, I've been wanting to do longer streams anyway, but I've also wanted to do them earlier. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, it was a really good time. I'm gonna save here, and I think we're gonna call it a night. But, I'm sure... We'll get to hang out real soon. Whoever you are, Schmate. Uh, <laughs> you should definitely catch uh, me and Saint around... Uh, 2 p.m. Central. <laughs> this is gonna really date the video when I upload the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for hanging out for this. I'm glad I could say hi to you before going off to bed. Uh, I'll try to get some sleep before the next stream. That's tomorrow in less than, in like 10 hours. <laughs> yeah. Boy. <laughs> Yeah, uh, thanks for hanging out, everyone. I had a lot of fun. Hung out with a lot of cool people. And, uh, I had so much fun playing the game. It was, like, I'm having... It's been a great playthrough so far. I'm looking forward to doing lots more. Yeah, I'm gonna head off for now, so... I'll catch all of you later. Good night.